Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put it down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, know what I'm about, have your feet loud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Andrew's going to be a little late, and I'm kind of a little, what, four minutes behind schedule. You guys probably going nuts in that chat room saying, hey, yo, where's he at? But I'm here. I see tons of people in that chat room. What's going on, guys? Um, Hey, look at that. We got, some te- we got Texas in the house. We got Wisconsin in the house. We got We got people from all over America today. I like it. But Andrew will be on. He told me about, I don't know, five minutes ago, he'd be about 15 minutes more. But it's kind of, I had to switch this up. I had something going on yesterday. Oh, yeah. See, Frank knows. Uh, I, my birthday was yesterday, so I did nothing. I literally did nothing. I sat and, um, well, I can't say that. They actually made the graphic for this show um, last night when, when I was sitting on my couch on my tablet. Uh was it the day before i forget but i was sitting on my couch making graphics for maybe the next show next week um yeah that's what that's what i was doing yeah i'm probably fired i'm probably fired i should be fired that's what it should be but this show kind of was uh thrown together because we haven't done shows in a while and i don't know what that the planning shows sometimes are hard for me. Sometimes I'm not online looking at stuff enough to say, hey, this is what we should talk about. This is what we should do. Getting guests on is kind of hard for me to do too because I need to do more prep work. It's I have to find out their websites. Got to get their logos. I got to get something about them to talk about and plan about, see what they want to talk about. So I got to get that stuff down. We're, we're, we're working on it. Andrew's going to help out with that. And... uh we're going to get that done. But we're, what are we talking about today? I put Eclipse in there, didn't I? I said Eclipse. Um, eclipse isn't everything, isn't it? Don't don't we see that? Eclipse isn't everything. Got to love Eclipse. But this actually came up, uh, this topic came up because of uh, another person contacted me asking if breeding a possible het or a het NDBE to a lot of things and not disclosing it would be hurtful. And I was like, well, yeah, that's real hurtful because of what, uh, you know, NDBE is and what NDBE can do to a collection. Um, the morph itself is actually pretty cool if you get a healthy one. Um, but let's say you don't get a healthy one. Let's say that you get, uh, you know, small eyes or a female visual that could really damage a project. We're going to get right into that. We're going to dive deep into that when Andrew gets on. Um, I'm pretty sure he's uh, um, almost home, but I, I like bouncing ideas off of him too, bouncing things off. I was actually watching Sean Bradley's uh, podcast um, about a podcast that he did recently with, um, oh gosh, dang it. Uh, who was it that he just did it with? Um, P- Peter, Peter Call, and they took it down because of some word said. I don't even know what word that was. I didn't watch the live. Um, and he's kind of talking about, you know, he took it down. He's going to edit out these two, this word that was said twice. Um, I'm thinking it has to do with racial, uh, because uh, Sean is very out there when it comes to freedom of speech. He 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 does it not out there like bad. Um, he, he doesn't, I mean, let's be honest, his, uh, podcast is bullshit <laughs> podcast. So, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's racial, um, because I mean, he is a good guy and he does, uh, does, um, uh, cuss and stuff on his podcast, which is totally fine. Um, but something had to be said for him to take down the Peter call, um, interview. I was actually going to listen to that Peter call interview and I'm sure if I just, you know, message uh, Sean, he'll let me have the file and let me he- hear it, or he'll edit it and have it back up. I didn't finish watching his announcement about it. Um, 
but getting Peter Cull on at you know on a show is kind of a big deal. Um, Sean has a little bit more reach than I do, especially in the ball Python world and stuff like that. So getting the Peter call on um, is pretty cool. I mean, him and Kevin did a, a pretty cool podcast on ball shit the other day. I want to say two weeks ago. That was pretty cool. Yeah. See, I, I he said uh, he, it was twice. I, I got to, I don't know, around eight minutes of his announcement. Um, he put out the announcement 26 minutes ago. And um, I'm friends with Sean. Sean's Sean's good people to me. I know that some people don't like Sean. Some people, it, he rubs people the wrong way. He's never done me wrong in a hobby. Um, he's honest. He's up front. It's the type, type of person I like. Um, and uh, I've known Sean before his accident. Uh, so it, it's been through a lot of stuff. Um, but I, I really do like Sean. Uh, he's he's in the fish too. If you guys don't know that, if you guys think he's just ball pythons and stuff, he's in the other different pythons and other reptiles, and he's in the fish. He's a fish guru, really. Um, but he's a really cool guy. So I think people are upset at him for it being said. But if you know Peter, um, call he just you can't really control your guest anyway. If you have a live feed, it's hard to control, especially being on a stream like this. Um, I don't have any delay or anything like that. What said said, I could take it down afterwards and I could do whatever I want and edit anything I want. But during that live stream, I can't really stop. So if I say something right now, if I, I can just go off, I can take this down and I can re-upload it all, edit it out, but it still would be out there live for everyone that's listening. Now they would hear it live but Sean couldn't control what Pete said. So, I mean, I feel for the guy. I really do. I, you know, I'm sure people are blowing him up. Like he said, uh, but people wanted them to say something on the, the podcast. Sometimes when you give too much attention to something, it's just as bad as not giving attention. So he, he might, he probably wouldn't have won either way. So yeah, that's what I was looking at right now. Um, before he get uh, before um, Andrew gets on, I can talk about a few things. I did put out a little teaser. Um, there is a couple more websites that's going to be coming out. Um, I do have a few of you already know. Um, I own reptilehobby.com. Um, reptilehobby.com is going to be a portal to get to everything that I do. And it's going to be a portal going to other people's websites that is actually hobby friendly. Um, and it just give a, it's just going to be for the hobby. It's going to be for good things. You know, like I'll have links to Morph Market on there. I'll have links to to uh, breeders that are trusted and, and stuff like that. And I'm not totally sure when it's going to be up. I, I started coding it already. Um, and the other one I, I bought is reptilepodcast.com. Uh, that these two came available to me. So I bought them both reptile podcast is going to be something simple. It's going to be people's podcasts listed on there. It's all reptile related. It probably will have an animal section also, but all reptile podcasts will be listed. You can go to their, your favorite stream and listen to them, but they just have a link to it and kind of um, put things together for that. Uh, let's see if he is on, I'll tell him. Yeah, it's eight twelve. Let's yell at him. Let's fire him. Let's on we be live. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, this show, this show is going to be pretty cool. There's a few things I wanted to hit on, but it's like I like bouncing things off of uh, um, somebody when I'm talking. I, I can talk a lot, though. If people know me in real life. I talk a lot. I like talking geckos. You know, ask Heidi. Heidi's in here, I think. Ask Heidi. Heidi, Heidi knows. Heidi does know. Um, I talk a lot at the shows, but um, NDBE, the, the reason that we did this is NDBE was brought up to me by a customer of mine, a really good customer of mine contacted me and said, I bought some animals. I don't want to bring up the person they bought some animals from, or it came from that person. Like the original, they originally came from this person. And they said that, you know, the original male, from a generation back is het NDBE. And I said, well, that makes that possible het NDBE. And how this ruined this person's project is they bought the animal for the tangerine. It's an orange gecko. They like the orange gecko. It's got some small green banding in it. 
and um, they didn't want NDBE. They because NDBE can produce females that don't produce young. So in a project, you get visual NDBE that female should not produce. Um, I don't believe anyone has a female that produces. Um, I'm one that was sold an NDBE female that says produce, but I don't believe it is. We'll prove it out this, this year. I'll be taking it to Marble Eye just to test it out. Um, but, uh, anyways, NDBE can hide in there and it, the, the, the damage it could do. Um, you, you start producing, let's say it eclipses in it also. So, the eclipse covers up the NDBE. The NDBE is there. You got a female. It looks really good. Oh my, the orange is popping and it never produces female or never produces eggs because the NDBE is in there. Oh, I thought someone asked me, how am I doing, Emily? Me personally, we, we can get into that a little bit. Things are going pretty good over here in Warner Exotics. Um, I messed up. I don't know if you guys all know this. I did mess up. Uh, my This is my first year in my facility in the wintertime. So the building is a brick building. Um, it's not a warehouse or anything like that. But I didn't know how the winter would affect each room. Houses and buildings, winters affect each room differently. And um, I had my roaches in one of my gecko rooms, okay? So... The gecko room stays around 80, 79, 80, 81 degrees all the time during the summertime. And during the fall, I had to adjust it a little bit. Well, now I use a oil-filled heater in there to help heat the room up. Um, and I have it on full now, and it just gets to 78 degrees. And I don't ever heat my dubias more than that. Um, than that room because if I put them up on the shelf, you know, the mid shelf is about 83 degrees, that's why I kept them at. Well, got down to like 78 and the production stopped. It might have been even more because le you know, the temperature might have been less because it was up against an exterior wall. I didn't measure it when it was there, so I had to do some adjusting and stuff like that. They're producing again, but yeah, um, I, I didn't produce as many dubia roaches. Uh, Leopard geckos, I'm already, uh, you know, getting babies, um, or should I say eggs already for this year. I've been doing that for a while. Uh, I have Cypher babies coming up, which Cypher I want to talk about. Josh is going to like this. I got some stuff to talk about Cypher and why it's important about the Marble Line Cypher and why it's hard to get out. Um, what, why I think Marble Line is going to be more rare than Cypher. So... Life does beat you down. Life does. Life can beat you down. Um, the 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 way I take life is each moment at a time. I tell you to tell uh, um, Andrew that I'm like you. Just gotta take each net that one. I always have one little fly. And there's no animals down here anymore. That one little fly just flies around. I think it follows me. But you just gotta take one moment at each time. You know, one moment at a time. And uh, look at us. I think he's here, but his screen is fuzzy. His screen is fuzzy. fuzzy. What do I do? Which one? Yeah, he's he's still setting up. He's still setting up. So, anyways, uh, what we have is you know each moment, each moment. You just that's how you gotta tackle it. Um. But uh, I said until he gets ready, uh, I'll tell you, Josh. Um, I, I my my ciphers all have possible het marble eye. Okay, um, everything I have is marble eye and cipher. Um, I think it, the tough part is because they're two eye genes. That's why we're having trouble. I guarantee there are pure marble eyes and pure ciphers out there. It's there's a such thing. Um. But I think they're hiding each other and stuff like that. Um, I got so much going on. But, yeah, one, I'm going to dive into that Cypher stuff. I'm going to dive into that Cypher stuff and tell you what I'm going to be doing with it. Yeah, Josh, Josh I'm going to produce like 1,800 Cyphers. 1,800 ciphers. 
That's what we're going to do. Me and wait, uh, sort of, sort of. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to read like six screens at one time. I got like six things up, but yeah, uh, me losing weight. Um, sort of. I started. I hit a wall. I, I'm probably down to like 280. Um, as people know, I was up to, I don't know, four, four twenty. Um, I'm probably like 280 now. Uh, not, not terrible, but not like I still got my good. I'm still rocking that out. But we we rocking, we rocking, and yeah, I'm gonna do 18 hour ciphers. I don't got guns, bro. <laughs> but yeah, losing weight was a, a big thing for me. But I still drink soda. I still drink soda, as you see, Pepsi. Um, I bought a new headset, and I didn't even bring it down here today. Yeah, I'll be losing more weight. I promise you that. So who who all did see the um the the bullshit podcast? Did you guys I see that uh Texas kids seen it. Did did every did anyone else watch that? Was it a racial slur? Because I mean I know Pete. It, it could have been. Um I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be you know emailing uh our boy, um, my boy, Sean, to find out what was said. That's for sure. I'm going to be doing that. I got too much going on my screens. Oh, it, so it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it did. Yeah, that that racial slur. Uh, mm. Yeah, but I guarantee it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't our boy Sean's fault. I guarantee that. Sean, Sean's a lot of things, but he's honest. I guarantee that. Sean's a lot of things, but he's honest. Uh, my favorite thing is soda. Hmm. I drink Pepsi all the time, but I think that's because it's easy to get. Like, I know all soda is easy to get, but it's like I'm there and I buy it. And my daughter and my wife will drink Diet Pepsi when they get it because my daughter's diabetic. So I grab Pepsi, but I do drink Dr. Pepper when I can too. Um, I used to drink Monsters, but Monsters, I still do. But Monsters almost killed me, so. Uh, Pete, I, I, there's a lot going on with Pete. Um, but yeah, he is old-fashioned. He's back in them days. Yeah, Pete. Pete's just, Pete's Pete. That's I, that's all I can say. Pete's Pete. I need to get my third monitor going because I don't have everything. I got like notepads all over everything, and I have a notepad covering up Andrew. <laughs> Andrew's on. <laughs> I, I wish I could show you. I'll, I'll show you guys when I get Andrew on. I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. Andrew's on. I'm gonna show you. I, I'm trying. I'm having such a difficult time, dude. See, this is what I had floating over your image. I can't okay. see you're on. Give me, well, give me one second. Two seconds. Two Trying seconds. to figure stuff out myself here real quick. Yeah. There we go. Now you guys can see my desktop there. See? Got my desktop. Let's see. So, Let's see. We get to take this down. Hey, look at Sean, guys. There's Sean. That's that's my homie. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you now. I work for Verizon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I feel like? I got to tell everyone before we even dive more into the show. Do you guys know what I feel like? Who has ever watched Rambo First Blood Part 2? Oh. I watched them all. Figures. No, he he had something sitting there and he didn't even realize it. Yeah, see whatever. This, <laughs> see, see this mic? How I got my I mic? I sat here for like five minutes. See, see oh, I got, I got one mic. Yeah, I feel like Rambo when he whatever. sits there and he I leans in, and he someone's offering us a promo right now. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I get it. But I feel like it goes to Murdoch. I'm coming for you. 
<laughs> he, when he grabs it. Yeah, he he would have talked to you. He said he uh-huh, yeah, had it covered. <laughs> but I, uh, what? I um, I have one of them too. But I have it put away. I didn't like it that much. I'd rather just have it on a boom. Right. Well, I have booms too. I have, dude. I have so much stuff. Look at, see, like I got booms. I got, I got free stands. I got tons of stuff. And um, I do got good news about something. I'm trying to go to YouTube. Both of you are me, aren't you? I don't know who you are. Something happened. You froze there, Gary, for a second. Oh, because I hit my button. No, I hit my button. No, no. There we go. I hit my button. I'm going over to Fauna. There's Adam. Adam. Who's Adam? Who's all in here tonight, Adam? Oh, we got tons of people. We got we got Adam, Emily, Josh, Texas Kid, my homie, um, Frank, uh, Hooked on Geckos. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to turn this off. There we go. Now I'm going to scroll up here. Oh, someone already got it. No, it didn't. Yeah, they did. Oh, someone already got it. Hooked, go. My homie hooked me up. But anyways, yeah. Not so, much, Adam. He was just asking me what's up. I was just saying not much. Oh, you're fine. I'm dude, I'm I'm all over the board right now. There we go. We we goose, you know. There we go. I am good, Emily. Much better than I was. I was sick there for a while, but I'm better now. <laughs> what's sick? I don't get sick. No. So how was your birthday yesterday? I gotta ask you. Everybody was Gary's birthday yesterday. I yeah. Don't know everybody wished him ever. I'm not judging, but if he wants to lose weight faster, give up the goddamn soda. He he drinks diet soda. It's because his dog. That's no. worse for you. Diet makes <laughs> you crave sugar more. <laughs> diet makes. No, you he's better. not. Ah, see. Give it up. If you give that up, you will lose weight faster. Trust me, I know. Right, yeah. Uh, you might go right, later. I don't got no. I'm losing weight. All right. Love you. Yep. Yeah, she's been walking miles, like five, six miles a day. She's down a hundred and some pounds. Well, not many people know I used to train. I used to be a kickboxer. Oh, I used yeah. to train. So my you fighting that before my fighting weight was two twenty five, two thirty five. Um, my high, my two forty, forty two was like where I would stay at, but I would drop down. Um, actually, um, it matters what fat you want to lose. Seriously. That's true. There's different types, I know. There's different types. Like, chest fat for a male is harder to lose than, you know, chest and belly for a man is harder to lose than for a woman sometimes. Uh, like, it's just different. Daddy we're, does. We got Ethan. What's Daddy up, does, dude? Frank. <laughs> and Texas Kid there sounds like... Uh... Water boy. Water sucks. <laughs> water sucks. Well, see, I do. That's, I, that's what I drink water. I, I I do drink water, but then it's not the sugar. It's the taste. I can drink water if I put, like, something in it. It's the taste. I just don't. I got to have something. I don't know. It's all good. Yeah, so oh, look at you changing up that. Yeah, but my, how my birthday? How yeah, it was went? your birthday? Is- I got up. I did nothing. Then I went to work. I sold some phones, got yelled at by a customer, came home about 2.30. Well, no, um, I went. So I eBay and stuff. Not many people know that. I do eBay and stuff. I do re- buy and resell video games. I think I've told people that before. Some of you might know that. I don't know. But I went to a couple thrift stores. I found a $70 game for 2 bucks, um, and like a $25 game for 2 bucks. So that mm-hmm. was pretty cool. So I turned around. I'll have that up on eBay here soon. You guys want to go to my eBay account? Uh, and then, um, uh, then I came home and I sat in a chair, like legit. Oh, I played Apex two times to get my birthday badge, but other than that, I did nothing. Well, that's not bad though. At least you had a good day. I mean, sometimes they could be much worse than what they are, you know, but you know, when you're turning 34, it's, uh, I'm, I'm 44, <laughs> bro. That should yeah. be 34. Passed that many, many moons ago, but that's okay. That's okay. And then tomorrow. Now, Emily, be careful if you lost your weight too quick. Yeah, and the faster you lose it, the faster you gain it back. No, I'm playing. Well, that's true, but <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll be, at so. the, I'll be at the shop tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'll be getting up, going to the shop. 
Um, I should have cypher eggs tomorrow. Uh, it'll be tomorrow or Monday. Um, I hope to get eggs know. soon, but I just started pairing stuff and stuff ovulating, so I paired the, uh, um, um, the red stripe up. I got one of the uh, bloods paired up. I have the Max Snow paired up. I got uh, a few other things paired up. I got to go down and write it all down. I got it all written. I got. I bought a new logbook. I buy a new logbook every year for every year. I'll mark it for a year, and then I write everything down. I don't. I do that later, but everything I get this two inch now. I used to write it just on the the tub with a sharpie because yeah. alcohol takes it off. But I'm gonna yeah. try with a two inch masking tape I got on the front, and I'm just gonna put what I pair. Because, yeah. um, like I told everyone, I'm trying to get all my females and all my males in 28 quarts or 32 yeah. quarts. Yep. I'm getting it. The 12 quarts are going to be for grow up only. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to go individuals. So I have noticed that um, uh, food is not going – it's not – like I don't know. It's like the food isn't going to waste as much. It's because it stays in a bowl. If they're in a smaller one, they'll knock over the bowl. Even an XA proof, they'll they'll just go nuts when they're in a twelve quart tub. I put them in thirty two, and they don't knock over their bowls anymore. No, <laughs> no. so it works. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm jumping on that. Uh, put the females and males in larger cages, and and I I, sh- I don't know. I should produce that. 1500 2000 that's all i'm going to shoot for this year yeah i don't know what number i'm going to go for i haven't decided yet five thousand hours i don't have any idea but yeah so we were talking about right before you came on i was talking about ndbe you want some ndbe no i'll pass yeah, it, it brightens stuff up, but you know, I don't even know if it does that. Um, I, I mean, it does, but someone. The reason that this topic came up, I had a really good customer contact me that got a two animals that got it from another person that has a animal that has NDB in it, and this person was said to breed this to like thirty to forty animals, and did not disclose that they're possible had NDB. So oh. now th- how that hurts is NDBE females don't produce eggs. Mm-mm. So anyone that bought an animal from this, them animals or them animals that produce and that ha- keeps carrying could ruin someone's project because they have females that just don't produce eggs. So if they don't catch it and it has eclipse, eclipse covers the NDBE. Oh, what happens? Or if, See, they don't even know what to look for. It's like an NDB. trust your breeder. <laughs> so you trust your breeder. Yeah, I trust you. I trust Adam. I trust uh, um, hooked on geckos there, uh, Josh, and I trust uh, a few other people. Yeah. So, um, like, uh, eclipses and everything. The reason eclipses and everything is because it was the first eye trait, and. And back in the day, we should we should talk about this next month, next week too. Back in the day, Eclipse and the Snake Eye was thought to be different. Yep, I remember. I remember. I, it was it I, was two different. They thought it was two different things, and it ended up being the same thing. When I bought uh, geckos way back, I had to be fifteen years ago, maybe longer than that, like twenty years ago or whatever. And uh, I bought Snake Eyes and Eclipses, but they were the same thing. Yeah, they're the same, same thing. They're the same thing. So Eclipse got put into everything because they wanted, especially albino, because of red eyes, solid red eyes. And let's be honest, the coolest looking solid red eyes is Bell. I mean, the Eclipse Bells are just that really bright red. They don't have that deep blood red, but it's like a bright red eye. Why eye traits are so important is is we have an eye trait that has a health issue, and it can be covered up by uh, cipher could cover up more, um, uh, NDBE, um, eclipse could cover up NDBE. 
So, and the, the animals that are out there right now, I, as far as I know, are have eclipse in them also. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. wanted to hit cipher about that. I mean, how 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 responsible are we selling cipher and ND or cipher and Marvel Eye? Because I mean, they're two different. You could tell a cipher. Cipher is not just nitrate. No, but cipher can cover Marble Eye. Hundred percent. That's uh, why I got to know your breeder. So, do I release Mar- Cipher? Do I? Um, I'll have Cipher this year. Um, do I release them, or do I hold it back until I clean them? Um, but, I mean, I think Marble Eye is going to be worth more money than Cipher. To tell you the truth, do you? Yeah, it's rare. Show me who has Marble Eye. Other than cipher breeders, didn't it used to be more? <laughs> there used to be. Didn't it used to be more available back in the day, though? Marble Eye. Yeah, that's what I thought. I really did. I was like, I think they used to be more available back in the day. Yeah. See, NDB NDBE is tough. I have a female here that was sold to me as NDBE, and it does produce eggs. That alone makes me say it's not. I still have it. It's seven years or six years old, six years old. I've bred it to Eclipse like three times, never got anything visual, nothing. So it's not Eclipse. Um, and now I'm going to be taking it to my Marble Eye stuff, but my Marble Eye stuff has Cypher in it. So, but they won't be visual Cypher. So they'll be wholesaled out to my pet stores. Let's see what he goes. Uh, all my Madrid stuff is labeled possible at uh, NDBE. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drinking Pepsi. Um, at some point, if you sold it labeled correctly, it's on the purchasers to continue their responsibility as a breeder. I believe it's unfair to shoulder the burden completely. I, I get that. Mm, yeah, I, I, I do. I, same thing. I understand that. Yeah. Um, and, oh, who... Estevan, you got hypo tangerine marble eye. You get that from Matt. You get that directly from Matt. Because I'm wondering if it's atomic. Because I I believe don't quote me. Uh, I don't want to speak for Matt, but I believe he had atomic marble eye back in the day. So that atomic line, the only pre- person I know that has atomic that is is Adam. I think that has from that original atomic line. But atomics weren't the the best at holding color. They just weren't they weren't the best. No. But it did have a cool name, Atomic Rain, for the rainwater yeah. stuff. That that was a bad name. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is I don't know. I mean, it'd be like if I sold if I sold my cipher stuff and just didn't label it. I, I get what they're saying, label it. But what if I sold a cipher for five hundred bucks? A cipher female next season. It was hot marble eye, and I didn't tell anybody. He, he believes it came from BHB. Ooh. Well. Well. And you know where he got his stuff from. That's originally from Matt. Yeah. But no, the rest of the genetics would be hard. I, I'll promise you that. I don't know if the person doesn't quite understand the genes in terms, but rather than asking us to clarify, they mislabel it in groups. That's another thing I do get. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just seen it. I don't know what group it was. Someone said, I think Heidi was part of it. And th- this is a big deal. This is why I said this is an understanding genetics and stuff. Um, this was the other thing. Someone was asking about Murphy's patternless or it came up somehow. And someone said, this is a Murphy's Patternless. And it was not Murphy's Patternless. <laughs> it was not. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even a hypo. You know? And I believe it was Heidi. Heidi said, you know, there's you can get other ones. Yeah, see, it was Heidi. And you could get a Patternless, and it might not be a Murphy's Patternless. It'd be hypo or super hypo. Um, I was like, are you kidding me? I mean patternless is in the name and this person this person like argued and says not all murphy's patternless are patternless 
I didn't know what to say. Was this a young guy or something? I, I don't even know. I don't. It could have been a girl. Could have been a guy. I don't know. Well, that's I, what I meant by like somebody new into the hobby or it, something. It could have been. It was just. I'm in so many groups uh, that I I see them and I do reach out. Like uh, I do try to help. Um, to, to to give an example, Ethan, he, he might be still listening. He said he's at work. He posted that he was feeding cat food, I believe, to. Um, either his roaches or his mealworms. And I say, cut the cat food out. Uh, too much protein. Um, protein gives gout to the, our, our reptiles. Uh, people don't understand that, that bugs, most roaches, especially roaches, produce protein by fiber. So they eat vegetables and stuff that has fiber and they turn it into a protein. Um, so Ember posts too. There, see? See, and Adam was involved. See all these people? Not able to sit tonight, most likely, but just came. That's, dude, I love you, but I hate you all at the same time. You are my homie of all homies, but Leo Eclipse love. Eclipse is just something. Oh, I hate Eclipse. It, you know what? Ha- everybody wanted to put that into everything, and then now it's in everything, and you can't get it out really. easy. I, I mean... I have a line of Bell that I'm pretty sure I've never hashed Eclipse. I've tested it out, but it's my red stripe stuff. So take my amazing red stripe stuff and put it into something else just wouldn't make sense. I've been I, I've been requested by somebody to take Cypher into my red stripe stuff. Because what if the red stripe would hold that reverse stripe that you know, Cypher produces and it holds its whole life with that solid black eye with Bell Albino, what would it do? Can that you imagine, cool. can you imagine that really red stripe on an albino animal? I'm just, it's, I'm picturing it in my head. <laughs> yeah. Because be cool. Eclipse dolls it out and Cypher kind of, and it kind of gives all the color a boost. Mm-hmm. So I thought about it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but I don't know if I'm going to do it this year because I'm starting. I, I just don't know if I want to muddy up with Marble Eye and Cipher in a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Team Eclipse. I think everything of mine has Eclipse in it or something. Pretty much. Pretty much. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure because a lot of my stuff does. If you got my, if anything Bell for me is not Red Stripe, it's got Eclipse in it. Anything Bell. Except for my red stripe bell, um, I do have a red stripe from you though. You, my tremper line. It's head eclipse, so it could be. Yeah, my tremper line. My tremper line has eclipse in it. So the only stuff I have in tremper that doesn't have eclipse is a bold project I bought from Dylan. Um, so all my tremper stuff has it has eclipse in it. So I can take cipher and marble line into tremper if I take that tremper line and then the red stripe line. None of my rainwater have eclipse in it. Rainwater, my eclipse, uh, my rainwaters are just rainwater or tangerine rainwaters. And so I do now. I do have subspecies. I got the macularis stuff that don't have eclipse in it. I do have fasciolatus, um, uh, montaneus. Uh, what else do I have over there? Um, I got my pure white and yellow stuff. I do have pure white and yellow stuff that don't have anything in it. Um, stuff like that. I, I thought about putting white and yellow in a cipher together. I thought about that. Yeah, there's a few things I gotta. Like I was telling you earlier, I was talking to you earlier. I gotta think out a few plans for future breedings. So I'm talking about Miles is a homie of all homies too. My, Miles is in the circle of family. <laughs> I don't even say circle of friends, family. That that's 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 like my brother too. You can't go wrong. Anything you buy from Miles, it's it's golden. Hundred percent. There there's a there's a handful of people that I would buy a female from, um, and I know there's people in this chat I would trust you. Uh, I have um, let's see, I have females from Heidi. I got a Firebolt cross from Heidi. Um, oh, I, I got a tidy too, one hundred percent. Yep, and I have a bold male that Heidi hooked me up with that likes to eat my finger. Um, 
that's uh that 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 bold is amazing looking animal but who I, I was on F- morph market yesterday checking out heidi's stuff it, it's amazing what she's been doing he- heidi's more than bold she's got yeah, i know she's got yeah, some stuff. stuff um the, the skittle I like skittles the skittle stuff i was just gonna say i like that skittle i love that skittle stuff Oh, we got what's this? I'm testing a white and yellow snow het rainwater for eclipse. Wasn't labeled as being het for it, but checking to be safe. Um, since I have a daughter from her, I'm telling you, it's better to check. Um, it's always better to check. I do have uh, a lot of eclipse stuff, uh, eclipse groups. I still have a trepper group, a, an eclipse group, um, a bell group, a rainwater group. I test for, um, and then all the eye traits that I have, I will create a group for that too, like the marble eye. I'll have a group of marble eye here soon. And cipher, I'll have like, I'll create five ciphers to test for, um, because I'm not gonna lie to you. If marble eye came out of cipher, or if cipher came out of marble eye that came from Matt, I promise you that John's not the only one that had it. <laughs> Unless it did, it started with John. Unless it was, it started there. But if it just is in that marble eye group, it, that's the thing. And then, of course, all the marble eye that John sold could have mar- a cipher in it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what chat you guys were in. I, I'm not all about them clicky clicks. It doesn't matter because to tell you the truth. These lives are just for us, and I'm going to be uploading them all up on Podbean afterwards, and that's where I'm going to try to make money. If I don't get advertisers through the Reptile World, uh, Podbean offers us advertisers. I get to like say, "Oh, the Dorito one sounds good." Click. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Mm, oh. 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 Heidi makes me smile. <laughs> Oh, Heidi makes me smile. Buskis. So what do you got going over there? You're going you're you're gonna be breeding your leopards. What what do you got? What are you trying to produce? You told me you're trying to get in something else. Yeah, I wanna get uh some uh black knights I do. I wanna work on that. I've been working with Adam on some stuff there. For that. I'd be getting them silver, silver knights. Silver nights. <laughs> yeah. And then the tangerine stuff. I really want to take the tangerine stuff because I want the um the blood tangerine. I mean, I'm gonna try to get as much as the tail bright orange as possible. I was looking at my stuff and the ones I got now are about fifty to sixty percent. I'm gonna try to increase that. I have some I'm little th- ones that are more that are growing up that I hatched out last year, you know, that I ain't big and aren't large enough yet. I'll tell you, like I texted you earlier, I said there's a lot of good stuff going on in the blood. I said a lot of stuff going on with mm-hmm. the blood stuff. Um, what I meant by that is the color. Um, the, my line's been bred. They go so far away from what blood used to be, blood blood hypo. Um, the original blood was a spotted head animal with a super hypo blood red body. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. And I'm taking that and I'm trying to add pattern back to it. Um uh, people are like, oh, that's not a real blood then. Well, I'm going to let you guys know when you take a blood to animal to a blood animal, you get animals with pattern on it. You, you, you just yes, do. I got so, some from last year. <laughs> so um, I am taking uh, my – the Riddler stuff, That the joke that kind of stuck. <laughs> the joke. <laughs> the joke that stuck. Um, I, the, the stuff that's in it. I, I have this Skittle Cross Jungle – something that i tested for a year and a half and got 78 five eggs from it from raptors and (laughs) but anyways i used it (laughs) now and it produces some cool stuff it it, the the kid got a skittle cross i think from heidi and brought it to a jungle and it was a cool looking animal so i i tested it out it was a male he wanted me to take the pair but i didn't want the pair i didn't it's a I don't want a female to test out. And uh I'm going I'm you need Riddler stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. We can call it Riddler. I don't care. Riddler. 
Well, I, 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 I agree. It's, that's, that's. Oh, you froze up there for a minute. Uh oh, we lost him. He fro oh, there he goes. Who froze up? Me? Yeah, you froze up for a minute, but I don't know. They might have seen it. I might be getting, I don't have low connection like you usually do. Um, you froze yeah. up once too, but I don't think anybody saw it. I don't think it froze up. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm just, yeah. So you got blood. You don't have Riddler stuff. See, I have stuff that I work on. I work on it in the back. No one knows about. Like I'm that strange person that you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh, you froze up again. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? I don't know. It might be my end. Who knows? But yeah, you got uh, that Riddler stuff, and the Riddler was a joke. Like I have, I have a gem snow. Gem snows are in my Riddler stuff too, because okay. Why why people you want to know why people name their stuff? It's not a marketing ploy. You want to know why they do? Because it looks like a certain look and they can't call it that. So they name it something different. And then they, they're like, and then they can add anything to it. They're like, oh, it's my line. I'm gonna add Gem Snow to it and just call it that. That's exactly what I did. So I have this riddler looking clownish stuff. It's not even clown, it's clownish. And joker came about so i named it riddler to be a joke and well i took gem snow i took a gem snow het raptor to it all so yeah oh steve steve's on sk productions that's my homie steve sk productions used to do herp radio with me way back in the day oh oh yeah i'm not joking we go way back when I was, we were doing it on blog talk radio, but I can't do it like that fancy girl says, blog talk radio. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I used to do that too. Blog talk radio. Yep. I remember them dates. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, so, uh, I mean, this, it, it's so important to know your genetics. And do you know what I, do you know what I, I finally told somebody? If wow. you don't track, if you don't track your genetics, you're just a little child playing with some animals. Come in the <laughs> grown up world and let's track some genetics because it's not hard. I don't I don't want to see leopard geckos being the mess that ball pythons are in and corn snakes are in. Well, you know, a, a ball python, uh, it's like a box of chocolates. Every time you read it, you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> and I was talking to a friend, and and Josh does ball pythons, right? Josh does them, and Adam does them. I have a few. So there's there are morphs that are not in complete dominance and dominance that have health issues. So I mean you I, I, I don't know all the I'm not even gonna pretend I know all the new stuff, but caramel and stuff like that, they have they have health issues. And let, let's be honest, I mean cinnamon can be hidden if it has if it has enough stuff in it. I, I, I mean, I might not be able to, I, I, maybe I can't tell. I seen an animal the other day that had cinnamon in it and super cinnies have duckbill issues. Yep. So, so why is it okay in the ball python world? Super if, black pastel have the kinking issues. Yeah. I have a, I have a, um, what do they call the pied super, super panda? I got a, a, a panda king, panda king. I have a panda the king panda female. King. Oh, People people will go nuts. I had a panda king given to me, and she's like a thousand grams because she's kinked. Given to me for the 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 zoo. Yeah. Um. So leopard clown in with the lab girl. Okay, so he's breeding. And see, I I agree, Steve. There are ball pythons, uh, no morphs that are slept on, but there's genetic flaws. And if people just kept track of their genetics, it's not hard. There's dominant, incomplete dominant, and then recessive, and then line bred. But we don't see line bred so much in ball pythons. We just don't see it. You'll you'll see it probably. Adam will start doing it because he's a gecko breeder. So, and then I don't know if in corn snakes does corn snakes have anything that has. I mean, the scaleless was thought to females didn't produce eggs. 
right? You couldn't go scale to scale yeah. or something? No, I don't know, but I know there's a few that uh, have uh, bulgy eyes, depending upon what yeah. it is. I know it's like the uh, um, desert ball python females. You breed them. If they get eggs, they die. And if they don't have eggs, they just don't produce. So let's say let's let's use that the desert. So it, that's a, a recessive, right? Or is that an incomplete dominant? I think it's an incomplete. I don't spend so, so long. I don't even know. I'm I'm thinking recessives that can hide. That can hide. Yeah. So oh let's no, say, the the desert doesn't hide. So well, yeah. You'll so know. let's say you get a genetic th- that hides behind the wall, and you you buy this five thousand dollar ball python, to six thousand dollar ball python, and you breed it. And it produces this gene in it that has a genetic flaw. Does it? Does that ruin your pocket and your project? I would say it would. Yeah, could ruin more than that. <laughs> so I see. And pal, um, palmettos have buggy eyes. So that super vanilla. So the the ones that don't like. I mean, a spider. You know, a spider's a spider's a spider. You can hide, but. Like in geckos, NDBE, if it's carrying and you can't see it, and you breed it, and it eventually comes out, it can damage your pro- your project because females don't produce; they just don't produce. Um, or I mean, I can't even say lemon frost because you you could tell a lemon frost; you could you could tell it right away. Uh, but I mean, still, I mean, or let's say eclipse. Let's say you. You have an eclipse, it's head eclipse, and someone buys it for a marble eye project. You know, uh, and they like the marble eye. They're buying an animal because let's say you have a really cool looking, let's just say what I have, a blood tangerine. My bloods have eclipse in it. They just do. There's nothing I can do about it until I try to prove it out. Um, Let's say I tell someone, oh, they're clean. And they buy it for a marble eye project because they like the marble eye look they're going after that look i just i just damaged someone's whole project because i was too lazy just to tell them or i wanted a sale there's so much we could talk about next week so many things are probably oh i'm telling you next week's next week's episode guys is not gonna be thrown together i i actually have and andrew has some stuff we're gonna talk about um this new mic is actually pretty cool. Um, I was told on g- a game I was playing the other day that I sounded all professional. Did you? Yeah, and I was like, oh, wow, it's not that expensive of a mic. It's just, you know, it's compared to yours a lot on, on YouTube. I saw all kinds of reviews. These are the two top ones that I've seen. Oh. I I am going to be getting the Rodecaster. I am buying the Rodecaster, the switchboard for it. So, um I, I don't know if I'm getting two though the one or two because right now I'm just using a Behringer it's a four channel Behringer I only use one channel but I'm getting a uh, I've had this for years but it crackles so I got to take yeah. it apart and clean it. Uh, I think you sound great. I hope I sound okay. I don't you know sound what perfect. Sound. <laughs> uh, don't buy from T U R massive N D B. See, this is what I'm saying is it, the. The urban reptile, the, the urban reptile, I wouldn't buy from anyway. So I'll never tell anyone. Here, here's the deal. I know people that I would buy from for genetics, and I know people I'd buy for for pets. There are people that have healthy animals, but they'd be great pets. And it's not listed. I could tell you there's a lot of people that don't list their genetics. I was just looking at them on. Unless it's Black Knight. I've seen Het Black Knight the other day. Or was that on Facebook? Was that was that what Nikki posted? There was something about Het Black Knight. And I just laughed about it. I laughed about it. You guys are awesome telling people to like this video. Thank you. And, and guys, guys, I'm I'm working on the uh, website. The website's going to have some pretty cool stuff on it. I'm actually going to have some games up there for giveaways. We're n- we're not waiting until a thousand thousand subscribers. Screw that. I'm going to start giving away some stuff now. Um, but I think I'm going to do like a gift card so you can choose what you want from me instead. Oh, that's um, a good idea. Yeah. So you're not locked into blood. Let's say you wanted my radar stuff. 
The only thing I tell you guys is my bell stuff sells fast. I produce probably 500 to 600 bell animals every year for the last few years. I'm probably going to do like 300 this year. And they're, they're, I already got lists. I got a list of people for bell stuff. So we're going to do like a, you good? Yeah, no, I'm saying bell stuff. I, I oh, uh, I, I was like, you keep freezing. You were like this. You're like this to me. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, cool. Oh. No, but um, the bell stuff I'm going to do, to give you what I'm going to do, and I'll, I'll say it publicly, I already told the person that I got Cypher from, I am taking my Marble Eye Cypher stuff, because I'm, I'm saying both is in there, because I can't, I got to prove it all out. But um, the is going to my Bell Red Stripe. So I probably will take one bell. I'm probably going to take it to a red stripe het bell because I want to I want to keep that because that's my better red stripe. If that makes sense. Um, I am taking it to a bold tremper, one bold tremper, one red stripe. I'm taking the pair of het ciphers together. So I'll have those and I'm taking it to rainwater to rainwater. So I'm breeding a male to five animals. That's it. So yeah, um, next week is gonna be cool. You got to write down some stuff. I have some stuff that people don't know about. I have stories. I have stories that can shock some people. I mean, good stories too. They're like really good stories. Um, I mean, we got we got all these gecko people. I like it. I know. I'm looking at all the names in here. <laughs> don't give stuff away until they like the video yeah we're gonna be, I'll, I'll be doing it on the website so um there is another program i talked to you about it you kind of liked it you you liked it when i talked about um doing a yearly starting it i'm gonna start it in february um we're gonna have a fund you can either donate funds to it or you can donate animals and project we can auction off and then we're going to adopt families to buy gifts for Yes, I like that idea. So, I thought that was good. Yeah, and so instead of giving away a bunch of reptile stuff to people that already can get reptile stuff, um, we'll adopt some families and give some children some as a reptile community. It's not going to be from Fauna Radio. It's going to be from the reptile community. Kind of hence why I bought reptilehobby.com. <laughs> so Reptile Hobby is going to donate these. We're going to adopt as many families as we can. Um, my goal, I think we could do pretty good and we can get three families bought for, but if we can get like five to 10, it'd be amazing. I will be totally transparent. I have to set up the account to be separate so I can take screenshots of it. The money can just sit there, um, all year. And then when we go to buy it, I will be transparent about it. I will be doing videos about it and buying for these families. We got to figure out how to pick out the families, but we got a year to get there, but yep. Buying for some, I mean, it could be a military family. It could be just a family that's down on their luck, single mom, single dads. Anyone that truly needs some help, we're going to buy some buy some uh, uh, presents for. And how I want to do it is I want the, the parent of the children that we're buying for not to even know it's coming from us unless they want it to, of course. they it, It's just from, you know, whoever. Uh, it, it's not no, not important. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I thought that was a great idea when you came, when you told me about it the first time. Dude, you were my homie, dude. Steve, you my homie. Do you know what else Steve does? Steve has a Mustang, which is amazing, and he used to. I don't know. He might still do it. Um, he used to own a detailing company, and he didn't detail like little cars, supercars. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking amazing. Dude, I've been feeding mealworms for twenty plus years. I don't. There's no allergy. You know, I'm playing. There might be. <laughs> there might be. <laughs> oh, see, it was Nikki. See, guys, I'm just bad at remembering where it was at. The Het Black Knight stuff. Someone had a Het Black Knight, like for sale. Like they sold a Het Black Knight. A Het Black Knight. A hundred percent. And this all goes <laughs> to be like you got to understand genetics. I mean, it's not hard. 
dude. You, you, my homie, bro. You, my homie. We'll get you on here one of these shows. Steve is this boom. I'll find that logo. I have a logo with me and his name on it. <laughs> Become a mealworm man. <laughs> uh, Frank the Tank. Oh, inhale enough mealworm for us and become a mealworm. Oh, God. I will tell you, though, that red runners get me sniffling a little bit. Knock on wood. Problems yet with any of that stuff. So Yeah, I'm breeding red runners just for Heidi. Um, actually, Heidi's the one I'm breeding them for. Um, uh, and I'm sure I'm going to sell them other places. But I every single time I go in there, it's like I got... It, it, they're not... They're, they're said to be explode like really big, really quick, but I started only with a, a hundred. So, uh, see, that's what I, I the Christmas idea is, is. I don't know how to explain it other than when I was growing up, a family helped me once. I don't know if it, I, I can't even say that I was I was a kid. And it still hits me to this day. I was probably third grade, fourth grade, and I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. And I remember the family coming over and they gave us the gifts and we got to open one in front of them. And they bought me a starting lineup for Cleveland Browns. It was a Bernie Kosar. And I remember that to this day. So we didn't get many that year, but it was just enough to it. And that has affected me. I wasn't rich growing up. I wasn't even close. So me either. Although I'll tell you what I did do. I was like ten years old or something, and there was a family that had kid didn't get nothing for Christmas. I took half of my gifts and took them down and gave them to him. Yeah, see, I got. And and here's another thing that really strikes me about gifts. When we get back on geckos in a minute. And get genetics, but when when parents buy for their kids and put Santa, put put the the cheaper gifts as Santa, and put the big gifts from you. Take some credit for that. The reason is when they go to school the next day, or after Christmas vacation, some kids that can't afford Santa bringing them an iPad, and the other kids getting an iPad. Yeah, they wonder why. And that's yeah. They can't figure it out. So parents, take that, take that credit, bro. Take, take that credit. Take that credit. And, and and Santa Claus do what Santa Claus does and bring joy. So it, it just hit me a little different. So I'll, I'll have that set up. I don't know if we should do PayPal, a cash app, or, or how we should do it. But I want to be very transparent about it. I don't want any money from it. I want no gain from it. Mm. I, it's going to be from the reptile community or reptile hobby. Um, and we can, cho- we can figure this out as a reptile community and we can post group, it. Yeah. yeah. We can post it on yep. what to get the kids. And I just want, even if it's food, you know, uh, a Christmas dinner for somebody, I don't, I don't care what it is. It, it, the point isn't about it coming from us. The point is just getting out there and helping these families. And we're going to do that. Yeah. It's all about the helping them. Yeah. See that that's the way I am, uh, Emily. Um, I, I teach my kids it's not about what you get; it's the thought. Um, I tell you the truth. Uh, I, I'll I'll give you guys talk about Christmas. I'm 44. Um, I got one Christmas card from my father. Uh, it's not about what I got in a Christmas card. It doesn't matter. I got a Christmas card from my father, and then a lot of people posted on my my uh, page, which is amazing to me. That made my birthday. That that made it. That that made made it. Um, now I didn't get a Christmas card for my mom, but people are like, "Why didn't you get?" She doesn't send Christmas cards. She called me. <laughs> she <laughs> called me though. So, um, you know, my mom and dad are divorced. Uh, I went through a really tough time when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I always tell people, especially the Santa Claus idea. The Santa Claus thing, take credit for when you buy that iPad or that iPhone or the Sega, you know, the Nintendo, or I almost said Sega Genesis because I'm a Sega Genesis nut. <laughs> that's <laughs> how old that is. Man. Yeah, I know. I remember when, it, hell, I used to, I remember when Pong came out from Atari. Oh, dude. Um, I, I, 
I just I gotta I I love my video games. I'm 44, but put the put put the put the 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 expensive stuff in from mom and dad. Put the expensive stuff from mom and dad. Try to do the stuff because. There's kids that go through a lot of stuff. Now, people are going to be like, oh, there's going to be the people that say mental health doesn't matter. And then there's people that say that lean too heavy on mental health. But mental health should never be an issue for a child. You know, they yeah, shouldn't, they yeah. shouldn't, they should, they should be ha- being a kid and having some fun with it. So uh, my, my granddaughter's gone through some stuff. Um, she's here. So people don't know my granddaughter and my grandson are with me and my wife. Um, and she's four years old and she can tell you stuff that happened at the age of a year and a half in detail. Yes. Yeah, see, that's not, that's not should never happened. So mm-hmm. this never happened. So, so I tell people uh, money doesn't, how, how did I say it the other day? Money doesn't make you rich, but time does what you do with your time. So, and I love Sega. Happiness, but it sure in the hell can buy you a wiener dog and who the hell doesn't no. like a wiener dog? That's right. <laughs> so I'm all about, I'm all about that stuff. I mean, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to be putting it up on um, funnelradio.com and when reptilehobby.com is complete, that number will be up there too. But I want this to be clear. That it's not from Fauna Radio. It will be from the reptile community. And everyone that does receive something will know it's the reptile community that yeah. did it. It's, it's the community. It's not going to be from Fauna Radio or no. anything like that. It's just going to be – I don't need credit for it. I, I don't. I, I'd just rather have someone have something. So – there was a, a breeder of, uh, used to breed hognose snakes. And at the end of the year, he would sell so many snakes and take all the money and buy gifts for a, um, a board. Fill out, went and grab what they needed and bought them all kinds That's of stuff. Insane. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of kids out there that needed help and. Who knows? It might change the life because the people I bought my mom, my, my me and my brother and sister stuff when I was in the third grade, I still remember that. And I'm 44 years old. Yeah, so, I remember it to the. T- I remember what the lady was wearing. It, it affected me because uh, I know I was prepped. We're not going to get that much, you know, because you know back then because Santa Claus, Santa Claus has lots of kids to take to and stuff like that. I I got to talk to. And uh, this family helped us out. So I don't even know who the family was, but if I ever did find out, they they affected me differently. So now now I breed leopard geckos, and I sell cell phones. <laughs> which but you sell a lot of cell phones. Well, not lately, and you know the Verizon's about what have you done for me lately? So, it, but <laughs> isn't it that time of year though where it slows down at the beginning of the year? Usually, a hundred percent. They don't care. They they don't care. They don't care. They want they want more. So, so you're, you're the phone guy. I got a question for you, real quick. What's up with the new Apple phones that are coming out in 2023? What one are you talking about? I heard they're doing away with the iPhone. They're coming out with a whole new line. Oh, they've been saying that for years too. I don't know anything on it though. No. Yeah, I don't know much on it. Um, uh, iPhone has a lot of issues, but I mean. Oh, iPhone people are going to hate me here in a minute. <laughs> iPhone is they're trying to Apple's trying to go back to producing all their own stuff. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um the iPhone is not built by Apple. No, it's uh, there are many companies Samsung has a play in it and Sony has a play in it and Motorola has a play in it cuz Motorola makes a lot of chips. Um so a lot of it goes into it and they're trying to go back to building everything on their own. Um, how I tell people is if you have an Apple phone, um, think of it as this analogy, you are the dog and the Apple is the human. So that Apple is going to pull you back every time you try to do something it can't do. Okay. It's going to yank its chain and it's going to say, Hey, get back over here. You're not doing that. Um, when you go to Android, 
you are the human, the android is the dog. The problem with that is if you think you're a dog trainer and you're not, that dog's going to get off the leash and run around and you're not going to be able to control it. <laughs> so Android is more powerful, not hardware-wise, as software-wise than an Apple because I could do more with it if I know what I'm doing. Um, now, I am a Google Pixel fan. I like my Google Pixels. But I wouldn't say I'm not I'm I'm a hypocrite to an extent because Google owns Android, owns Google, owns YouTube, owns Gmail, and that's why I like it. It's all integrated together. It's built for Android, but Google owns Android. So if you have a Samsung phone, Google has a play in that. If you own a Motorola or a Sony, that that Android is owned by google so i like the phone because it's built for google or built for android iphone's the same way but i still can make this look like an apple i I know the new uh ultra 23s is coming out in february on the 23s yes it's it's a 200 mega right now 200 megapixel camera huh i know it's amazing and it has one terabyte of uh, storage space in it. Yeah, the, um, that's something that Apple's been doing for a while, one terabyte on their premium line. Oh, and yeah. I didn't know Ultra that. finally just uh, caught up. The, the reason people are like, oh, it's amazing, you're still going to be able to put the same amount of pictures because that 200 megapixel picture is going to take a lot more space. Uh-huh. So it's all about the same. I'm terrible. Sorry, guys. But they came up. Dude, you still my homie, bro. Still my homie. But do they have, will the camera be better? Like if you're doing videos with it? Um, megapixels don't play a part so much in video. That's when you get to 4K and all that good stuff. Um, well, they so have an 8K capability. 8K capability. Um, that comes into, so like my DSLRs can shoot in 8K. Um, my DSLR, my mirrorless. Now, when I process it, I'm going to process it in 4K. So you're only going to see it in 4K. But what's really cool about it is, is I can zoom in on the video. I can put the whole video and I can crop in and I don't lose resolution. I can bring that to me. So I can zoom in on the crop, on my programming. Um, Ethan uh, here is having trouble with uh, photography and his geckos. I was going to help him out with it. But it takes time, but I'm sorry. It, it just takes a lot of time to explain it. Um Maybe we should do a co- podcast just on photography and videos. We should. That would be cool. Um, but like a 200 megapixel camera is going to give you that crop in ability. So you don't have to zoom in. You can just take the picture, put it in an editing program, crop in and pull it to you. And you, you zoomed in on crop um, at, at post at, after the picture is taken. So that's pretty insane. You're not going to lose resolution. My worry is the the sensor. The sensor is what causes it. There's a little board. I could, if I had my mirrorless camera down here, I could show you the sensor that the image gets put onto. A phone sensor cannot be as big as my my mirrorless and DSLRs upstairs, and they're putting 200 megapixels into that. So I'm wondering if it's. I, I just don't. I don't know. And see, Texas likes photography too. So, let's say. In March, I came into your store. I had never had a cell phone, but I knew how I could run them both between an mm-hmm. Apple and the, the Samsung Ultra 23, the 23, you nope. know, which one would you recommend? I wouldn't say either. I'd say I'd put you in a Google Pixel 7 Pro. Would you really? Yep. hundred percent. Because I'm going to blow your mind away. Most people aren't going to use that 200 megapixel. No. Most people aren't going to use the 8K. It's just a fancy number to make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to take a phone that's going to be more user because I'm not going to buy a phone. And I tell people this all the time. I don't buy a phone for a camera. Go buy a camera for a camera. You're buying this for quick. You're buying quick. That's what I want. (sighs) So if you're going to be taking video on this all the time, these you can't add SD cards to anymore. So you're going to be downloading video all the time. And shooting in 8K is just going to take up space. 
You think 4K takes up space? Double it. So your two terabyte hard drives are going to be filled up like that. Your eight terabytes can be filled up like that. So you you got the capability of shooting 8K, but you're not going to do it because of space. You're going to go back down to 4K or 1080p. Um, the Google Pixel, let's see, I used to have an Apple and Samsung, and I hated them. I have a Sony Xperia, but I have a Google Pixel 3 XL now. Okay, why didn't you go upgrade? I, I believe it. They're, it's not going on now, but four weeks ago, you could have turned that Google Pixel 3 XL into a free 7. Oh, man. You know, uh, I, I don't owe anything on my phone or nothing like that, so I'm not going to be tr- buying a new one anytime soon. But I am going to have to start a GoFundMe for my camera. <laughs> my, what, what kind of camera did you tell me to get? No, the camera, the camera for <laughs> everyday people. Okay, I, I have a lot of different cameras. And the reason is because it's a, it's a hobby for me. It's another part that I enjoy. I love camera equipment. I love cameras. It's all about lighting. But I tell people all the time, I could hand you with my $3,000 camera and put a $2,000 lens on it and say, here you go. And your picture won't look as good as my if I had a $55 camera in it. Yeah, because no, I, I know how to take care of lighting. I know how to do lighting. I know how to do the ISO. I know I know how to set the camera up. So the camera itself can only do so much. Um, like uh, the the pictures we're seeing, I go on uh, Morph Market, Morph Market, and I see these are washed out. These are too much light. They're not editing them properly. Um, they're they're leaving the the exposure high because the animal looks brighter, but you can tell that it's overexposed. And I'm like, you can't do that. So, what's the camera you use? The video camera you use? Me? Um, I my number one camera I grab for the geckos is a just a Canon M50. That's what it is. But you can do video with that too, right? Yeah, it does 4K. Yeah, that's that's the camera. But you're talking the, about. the the cam the problem with the M50 on 4K though, I shoot 1080p on it. 1080p yeah. is perfect. Well, that's is the 4K is cropped in. It's so the M50 is a crop sensor. It's not a full frame sensor. Now I know that sounds really weird, but so basically you got to do a crop of 1.6 on any millimeter. So a 10 millimeter lens would actually be a 16 millimeter lens on my M50. So you gotta you gotta up it. So they say that you. They say that you get more reach with it with telephoto lenses, but you don't. You get the view of a 16 millimeter. So I got a 10 millimeter lens. I get the viewpoint of a 16 millimeter, but at the distance. So it's 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 just a numbers game. Um, See, I, I'm just talking for video, though. I'm not talking like taking yeah. pictures because I got a whole different camera for taking pictures. Yeah, well, the M50 uh, blow away that rebel yeah. for all of it. The M50, the, M, the, the M50 is actually really good. I wouldn't spend the extra money for the Mark II. I'd find a Mark I because the Mark II's settings, I think they got a clean HDMI feed out on them, so you can do live. I can live stream with mine. M50s you can live stream, so I could hook it up, and but it's not a clean, a clean feed, so it will have the focus box on it. Um. So, how much is it? Uh. How much are they? They're pretty expensive, right? They're about a thousand dollars. No, the M50 the, yeah, with the lens, yeah. four or five hundred bucks. You think? I I know so. Um, I can go right now. Let me let me see. Let me do this. Let me go. I right, we're gonna have some fun here in just a second here. Um. Um. Let's see here. Uh, Amazon. A Canon M50. So, we do like that R10 is the new mirrorless, so you don't need to go to R10, but that is a crop sensor. That's a 24 megapixel crop sensor. That's the same exact page I'm looking at. (laughs) Um, So, right, the Rebel 2000, I'm going to do right here is the M50 Mark II, it's $699. But there's the M50 right here. Let's see if there's a M50 699. I guarantee you can find it cheaper than that. I guarantee you can find it cheaper. Um, M50 699. I guarantee. I just guarantee you can find the the Mark One cheaper. Um, you just don't want that. The 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 2000D the Rebel series is 
I can't shoot with Rebel Series anymore. Here's a mark. Here's a body only. Now, yeah. where it's going to come up is to use EF lenses. So, to use an EF lens, you've got to have an adapter because this is an M mount. Why people don't want to buy the M mount is they don't make it anymore. They 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 went to RF now, so it's a different mount. Um, now people are probably like, "This is getting boring because it's all about cameras." I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the is that silver go up one. Is that silver one a regular M50? Yeah, it's M50 Mark II. They come in the white and they come in black. Um, the oh, white's a little rare. Two. Yeah, the that the one I was looking at on my phone. I'm sorry, you're down further. Now. Oh no, no worries. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can totally pick up yourself an M50. Um, Sony, Sony actually makes more uh, a, a camera that has more focal points, which is kind of cool. Um, that's one thing. If you're new to the camera game, the M50 does have a really weird focal point thing. But video, it's fine. It's more for taking pictures. The focal points are hard to figure out. Yeah, I would only use that for video because I have a camera for. And then you actually want to buy really good SD cards because if you're shooting in 4K, you want to have a fast SD card. That is something. This takes normal SD cards. A lot of professional people like, oh, you can't use it, regular SD cards. And it doesn't have a backup SD card. I don't care. The, the Mar M50 is one rated one of the top vlogger cameras they're made. Um, that's why I bought it a couple years ago. But I find myself grabbing it for pictures because I could throw a 500 millimeter on it, and it's still, it's basically the camera's not there. It's such a small you, camera. You can hook a mic up to that too, right? Yeah, you can hook a mic up to it. Um, uh, it has a fold out screen for selfie mode, I guess if that's what you call it. Um, now people are gonna get real mad at me. I video a lot of stuff. I probably got seven to eight terabytes full of video, and I don't put up YouTube videos. Yeah, I try to get you to put them up, but you just never, you don't have time to edit and stuff. The reason I don't like Rebel, Rebels are really, really good cameras. It just doesn't have all the features I want. And um, uh, I, I don't know. I shoot in manual, 100% manual. I do not shoot any other way but 100% manual. Um, and Rebels just don't feel right to me because of the setting. They don't have some stuff. They just don't have that extra stuff. Yeah, focus points are awesome. I had to uh, post screenshot one time. Again, myself, folks, don't think I changed saturation. Ha <laughs> ha. It's all lighting. I just, I, exactly. People don't understand that lighting plays a big part in photography. Um, uh, but too much lighting can be bad. But I never see that with yours, dude, um, Christian. I never see that. But uh, too much lighting can be bad. And too little lighting can be bad. But you can fix it in post if you're going up one, two, three stops of light. That's another topic of conversation. <laughs> uh, if you want, at, if that's something that is, I don't know if the Mark II does. He is right here. If you want to get a good camera, you save up and get the one with the ad, um, animal eye focus. The M50 does not. The M50 Mark I does not. Um, but I, I do cheat. Um, Emily had a question. Where's Emily's question? That's what I'm looking for it. Gary, I got a Verizon. Oh, let's see. Um, I've got Verizon. I want to switch to a Samsung. Is there any deals going on right now? Wait three weeks. The Samsung S23 series is coming out. Yep. Wait three weeks. The S series. So you'll probably, they'll probably go back all the way to like the S10e. Um, or A, or whatever it is, and do maybe the, down to Google Pixel 3, stuff like that, and give you $800 for it. Now I'm selling phones. <laughs> yes, 100%. Soft lighting sucks. So lighting is the most important thing. Like, my lighting rig, okay, I got this, see this right here? This is a perfect example. I'm using my studio lighting to light me. The rest of my room's dark. The reason that this lighting is bad is because I got a crease in my green screen. That's why. Now, if I turn off this light, now the green screen's bad because I don't have enough light for my camera to properly do the green screen. Yeah, see, mine does the same thing. 
So I could sit there and I could now I can post this. I could I could fix this. I almost guarantee I can. Let's see here. Virtual background. I can go into fade and I could fix it kind of like that. So I post I posted it and now I don't have an issue. Now I'm back to the normal. But now I have shadows. Shadows and green screen suck. You don't want shadows. So that's why you're seeing this pixelation on this side. Because I got shadows coming from this light on this side. This is where my light's at. So I turn this back on. I'm going to get that fold. And I'm good to go. <laughs> the fold went away because I think we're moving. But uh, yeah. So lighting sucks. Light Lighting is the key. Lenses are the biggest factor in... Uh... At least that's what I think. Lenses, okay. So lenses, the A6000... Oh, that is an amazing the sony a6000 is a good good camera and sony can take ef lenses ef lenses had the biggest amount of lenses but now he, here's the ticket f-stop your lighting everyone's gonna be like wow camera stuff but the so f-stop is your how much light your lens lets in okay and take my nifty 50 my nifty 50 is a 1.8 f-stop so i can go down to 1.8 or is it 1.4? I forget. I think it's 1.8. It might be 1.4. But they make a 50 millimeter lens that can go down to 1.2, I believe it is. And the price difference is $100 for mine, $400 for the other one, just for the F-stop light. That's it. So they call it speed, The fa how fast the, light, the lens is. So prime lenses are better than zoom lenses. I don't care what anyone says. Prime lenses will get you crisper shot. Um, but you can get crisp shots with your zoom lenses too. Yeah, Steve. Steve is a camera guy too. Steve does cameras, see? So I, I don't know if my 50 is a 1.8 or 1.4. I know it's not 1.2. I think it's a 1.8 f-stop. Let's do a show. Next week, we're doing the hidden hidden treasures, but we can do that. Let's see. What, what is this? A, D, a D7100 with a 50 millimeter 1.8 f-stop. So that D7100 is a Nikon, I believe. I can get shots. I want um, weather, women, snakes, cars, something about 50 millimeter 1.8 that just gets her done properly. I'm telling you, the Nifty 50 is on every lens. I mean, every camera. They got Nifty 50s. You you shoot Nikon, right? That's a D7100 is a Nikon. And that's another thing. When people say, uh, oh, Nikon's better than... They all got their pros and cons. It matters what you feel comfortable shooting. I don't think I could ever switch off Canon now because I'm so used to Canon. How it, They're all set up the same. So I can do this all day. See, and then look at and <laughs> Christian uses a, a thirty-five millimeter and a fifty millimeter. That fifty, that nifty fifty, brah. So now, what do you think it'll be before they stop making film? Like actual film? Yeah. I didn't know they For, still made film. You could still take them in and get them developed. I got a whole bunch of film. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I have no clue. Well, I mean, th there are, like, I know some photographers that develop their own stuff. It, it's like a step in the, the, I've never done it. I should. I should do it. Regardless of brand, get you a 50 millimeter 1.8. Thank me later. Such badass lens. Regardless of the brand of camera, you should. Exactly. I agree with them. Um, I have a fr another friend that's local that has an icon, and I just couldn't get used to the buttons, but I did get some nice shots out of it, and it had a 50 millimeter on it. That one point eight, y'all, great convo so far tonight. I love, dude. I love camera talk. That's something I don't talk about. I mean, I probably have a cheapy lens down here somewhere. Just a second, I got a cheapy lens. Just a second, what is this? This is a cheapy lens. This is dirt cheap. I probably picked up at a garage sale. It's a real cheapy. It's an EF lens, but it's made by Kodak. Um, it's a seventy-eight to two fifteen. And oh, the f stop's 4.5 to 5.6, so it's 78 to 215 with the f stop of 4.5, 5.6. 
and it has a macro at 1.5 meters. This can't, this, I don't even know how clean it is. That's not bad. It's not bad. But yeah, I mean, it's a Kodak. This lens is nothing. It's not even, it doesn't even weigh anything. Probably got it for like two bucks or something. <laughs> Photo dumping Gary now. <laughs> Photos are fun. Just saying, you need a camera. So that I was. Um, the camera, I don't know what point shoots you can get. I don't know what point shoots would be good, but I know Sony makes some pretty decent point shoots. Um, point shoot means it comes with like a lens on it already. You know, you don't change the lens. Do you know what, Josh, do you know what's really bad is I could probably take that camera and get something good out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a T... You got a T7, don't you, or a T6? I or something like that. T6. T6? I got a T6 sitting upstairs. I haven't used it in... What is T6? Like a 16, 16 17 megapixel? Something like that. I don't it's know. It's a crop sensor. On it. T6 Canon. It's pretty bad that I know this stuff off the top of my head. Um, 18, 18 megapixel. It's an 18 megapixel. It's a crop sensor. So it's an EFS lens, but EF will fit on it. But the, they make another lens for it, but it still doesn't. You still got to do the crop for the, the, for the millimeter. I remember we used to have was a. Uh, um... What was it, a Rebel 2 or something like that? Took great pictures. Perfect, beautiful pictures. But it got burnt up in a fire. So, Yeah, well, that, that's what most people say. You can pick up that Rebel 2 and still get good pictures. I mean, it's probably only going to be like an 8-megapixel camera, but you're still going to get good pictures out of it. I, I know people yeah. that have 2-megapixel camera pictures that are on their wall. It's like, whoa, and it was shot with a 2-megapixel camera. Okay. <laughs> Samsung Fold coming up. Don't buy a Fold. Folds are garbage. Folds are garbage. Yeah, I was looking at them. You told me, don't get it. Don't, don't get it. I have not seen a Fold over six months old that does not have some type of damage. They're the biggest piece of garbage. And I make money when I sell them, and I won't sell them. They can't, they can't handle falls real well. And I agree with them here. The manual is key. So you can put a priority, though. You can, like, practice. Most cameras, should I say, Steve might know this better than I do because I only shoot Canon. But I can put a priority where if I want to mess with my f-stop, I can mess with f-stop, and it will adjust everything else for me. They keep it in focus. Um, but manual is the way to go. Manual is the way to go. Nikki, the 50 millimeters only a hundred bucks. You can get the 1.8 for a hundred bucks. I can look at it real quick. Um, Nifty 50. I'm pretty sure you can get it for a hundred bucks. 50 millimeter EF lens. hundred bucks. Um, but don't buy this one. So this first one, it won't have autofocus on it. So it's an EF. Young new um, is a off brand. And it's not worth buying. 125, you can pick up a 1.8 right there. Um, here's here's one right now. It's renewed. Um, there's probably nothing wrong with it. Um, it's probably renewed by by Canon for 109. And then there's the 1.4. Remember, I told you that uh, I have the 1.8. The 1.4 is 400, dollars but you only gain one stop of light. So one stop of light for that. And I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, what I want, 600 millimeter. Yeah, you guys can buy me one of those. <laughs> that, that's, right, 600, was... that's 600 millimeter F4. That's a, that's well, a, that's a bomb. On me, $20,000. You can get that. I'll get the one camera and then yeah, the there we go. some other fund. These Sigmas are pretty decent, though. These Sigmas are decent. That's 60 to 600. But it's an F twenty two to thirty two. I mean, 
I, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's an, oh, it's F four. So that F twenty two, it's an F four to five. Okay, but uh, that's the sports model, I believe, because Sigma makes a sports model and then a non sports model. Yeah, because this is one stop of light. Yeah, that's what that is. There's our six hundred millimeter. There's a Sigma one fifty to six six hundred millimeter. Six hundred millimeters reaching though, bro. That's a piece of garbage. That's that one forty nine one. I can do. I can do camera talk all day. <laughs> Sigma Sigma art lenses are amazing. The vents, I'm going to have to get with you. I mean, it's just so much has been going on lately. I, I mean, I just figured out my, oh, I lost so much money last year. Guess what you <laughs> want to know. It happens. Where are my lenses are? I have quite a few. Yeah, I'm telling you that 50 millimeter, like Steve said, the 50 millimeter is like a must. Um, it was one of the first lenses I ever bought was a 50 millimeter. Um um, I, I have, I have stacks of cheap, like kit lenses. I, I don't even remember last time I used a kit lens. Uh, but I mean, the next lens I want is the hundred millimeter, uh, uh macro. Oh, hello. Me. My name is ring, ring, ring. No. <laughs> uh, hello. Here we do that. We'll mute him. So he does, he have a private conversation. But yeah, it, uh, this type of stuff is like my thing. I love photography. I, I love this type of stuff. Um, it, it's just who I am. Uh, I love photography. If I can make money doing photography, it'd be rocking. Are oh, you back now? I muted you. Uh, oh, okay. But but yeah, like photog- We we could do a photography, and uh, what I'm trying, what I can do now, I think I can do it longer than 30 days out, but I can schedule them. Um, Facebook allows us to schedule shows farther out than 10 days now. So oh, yeah, that'll be great. And it makes an event page. So what we could start asking people to do is put questions down for that, and we can try to get them answered, especially when we get the guests on. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, we could do that with anything, though, right? With anything you want to do a, a do a topic on. Yeah. Oh, so n- next week's next week's title is uh, I'm probably going to get some haters for what I'm going to say because I do got some stuff I want to say, but it's the hidden treasures or the hidden secrets of the hobby that no one talks about. Um, but some of it's good stuff. Like some of it's really good stuff. Um, like most of your morphs have been around longer than you think. Oh yeah. Uh, um, some of the stuff put up on YouTube now is just to get views. Oh, we hate that guy. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. And then they're you know WrestleMania style and eating dinner later. But yeah, I tried Canon. I couldn't figure out how to use uh, a Canon, but Nikon just felt easier out the gate. That's what I'm saying. Nikon, Nikon makes some makes some awesome stuff. Uh, Nikon sensors are just insane. Um, yeah, the only reason I say Canon is I bought a Rebel way back in the day. I think it was a T5. Bought a Rebel, and I'm like, I am a professional photographer now. And I took that Rebel. I'm not joking. My first time, I went to the zoo. And I'm taking that Rebel, and I had the the 75 to 300 millimeter lens on it. I had a lens hood on it. And I thought it was all that. And I'm taking pictures at the zoo and I see this guy pull out this huge, I don't know what camera it was back then. I don't huge. And he had, it had to be a 500 millimeter lens on it and just, Oh, let me just get what I need real quick. I mean, he is supposed to run. It sounded like rapid fire. Well, what is that? And I didn't even know what settings were. I literally opened it up and went to the zoo. I'm sitting there. Tick, 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 tick. Now I'm that guy. I pull out my camera and I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, but that fills up your 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 memory card pretty. Quickly. Oh, I don't care, I, dude. I take over six terabytes of memory cards with me. Oh, I could see. care less. Yeah. So, um, okay, above this. Oh, I don't even know what size. I, I honestly don't know. I, I do because I'm changing all my caging. Because 
Okay. Everyone's going to hear okay. What do you change? That's what I was just going to ask you. What are you getting into? I'm going from 12 quarts, and I'm going to be doing 28 or 32 quarts. Um, I am so talking to yeah, 28 quarts or it, some are 32s. I'm looking at the V30s. Um, I'm talking to a cage cage person, a, ne- a level up, um, or next level. I'm level up. Next level. Uh, they will be on here eventually. I will probably get them on here, and I'm gonna get their banner on here. They support us, but um. Uh, next level is pretty, pretty cool people. And I'm just switching my whole collection over to larger caging. Uh, so that's an expense. Um, I'm not asking for a deal that he doesn't give other people. Like he does give discounts on multiple orders. Um, so I'll get that, but just because he's a friend of mine doesn't mean I'm going to ask him for a deal because I mean, the material is a lot of money. And he has to pay. He has employees and stuff. He pays. Yep. But um, that's what I'm switching my my stuff to. It's probably going to cost me close to sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. So crazy. Um. It. it I, I'm. There's no way I'm going to do it all at one time. There. I just can't. I can't afford that. Um, I'm. I'm taking my shot. Yes, next to, door to the next to the next level. So I'll be able to cut shelving really well racks see that's i i wish really good i have your woodworker i have another friend that has a cnc machine that does plastic and pvc he can do big sheets he makes caging well joe yeah joe and i showed joe the racks i was like i really like next level i don't know if um next level does have a cnc machine they may dude racks and caging there's not enough people in it i mean if you could do a solid wood and you could seal it where moisture won't hurt it you got you have something well i can even go buy the pvc sheets and mill it out myself see that's what that's what i'm saying i mean there's there's room for caging companies there's room for feeder companies there are um I mean, if someone came up to me right now and says, I can get you your whole collection done for $45,000, I would be perking my interest. Yeah. I mean, oh, D3200, I see you could probably get in Craigslist right now, $250 alone, 26 megapixels, but still take better photos than a cell phone, just get a good glass lens. And he's 100% right. I didn't know the D3200, you can get one for 250 That's a dude, that might be the way to go. Because you're not stuck on Canon. You haven't been shooting Canon for like years and getting used to it. If you went to a Nikon, um, it's got a 26.2 megapixel camera. And you put the right glass on it. You put money, put buy like the 50 for 100, 120 bucks. Pick up a nice macro lens. You'd be set. Yeah. Oh, Adam, I have all the tools. I have a great big workshop. So. <clears throat> So, yeah, if anyone needs vents, hides, or anything, you hit up Emily right now. Go see her. She has a 3D printer. Just go hook her. Just, just go give her. Blow up her messages, guys. So I have that one fly. I swear I think a fly follows me. Like one little fly just. I get one that does the same thing. So, Except it's not here today. It might be, though. It's waiting. <laughs> my, my favorite lens is probably the 50, like you said. And then I, I have a a Sigma um, 150 to 500 that I, I, that's my baby. I love that lens. Uh, That's my, cause that, that lets me reach out and touch somebody. (laughs) So I take that out and it's not that heavy. The 150, cause if I get a prime, like a 600 prime, it's a big heavy lens. I can take that 150 to 500, throw it on my M50 and go to the zoo and just have it strapped around my, and just pick it up. And then I can take it if I want to change it. I just take my camera off it, let the lens hang on my my shoulder strap, and I put the other lens on and take my pictures. Yeah, that's what I do, though, bro. You know that. Come on now. Sigma's got. I I'm I love the price point. Um, let's see if I can I can show because I don't know if he's seen any of my. Photography. You can show show people my photography real quick. Um, 
So that's an eagle at the new zoo. I, I take pictures of her all the time. My portfolio. I don't have much in here. No, but zoo you do take beautiful pictures, man. Yeah, this I'm here serious. this here is uh eagle at the new zoo. It's a little fuzzy on these ends. So my ends here were a little fuzzy because I focused on her head so much. Um, but I should clean that up. I should re-edit this and smooth out these the pixelation. But uh, that picture I love that there, picture. Um, that was her, and she was looking at a keeper. The keeper kept snapping her fingers for me. That is actually through the glass. It, it's another fuzzy picture, but she kept looking at me. I think she wanted to eat me. <laughs> um, that there, um, I actually had to crop out because uh, it, it just didn't look right. It didn't focus in right, but this is a female gorilla in the San Diego Zoo. Thank you, San Diego Zoo, for taking care of me that day. If you guys are watching, um, this here is a orangutan. You see the glare right here on the bottom right. It's, again, through glass. Um, this this boy here, he actually was a really cool boy. Um, that's a six-year-old male gorilla to San Diego Zoo. Um, I forget what rattlesnake this is. Um, or, no, I forget. I'm not even going to try. But that's a rattlesnake that I found out west. Um, there's, uh, that monkey again, or monkey, the gorilla again, the six-year-old gorilla. Um, a grizzly that was at a zoo, not in the wild. An elephant that was in the wild, not a zoo. No, I'm playing that's in the zoo. Uh, let's see here. That's that six-year-old boy, but this one was through glass, as you see. But I like that here. look. I liked it, so I didn't crop it. Um, I like that look. It just, I don't know why it, what i like that's him again i took a lot of pictures of him um he and how i took this picture you guys ready for this i had a 500 millimeter lens on and i held it over my head over the glass that's how i did it and i that was handheld 500 millimeter up in the air that's how i did it um i don't know why i put this one in there it's not the best picture in the world but i mean it was still a orangutan um this picture here was actually i didn't i don't remember taking it um but it showed up and uh, this is a bonobo bonobos are actually really intelligent um that's one of my better pictures i took at the san diego zoo um this here i actually was showing somebody this shouldn't have stayed up i can't believe it's still up it's a really bad picture but i showed how black and white can actually change the dimension of a, a bad picture um again that was a really bad picture and i turned it to black and white to cover up the flaws um let's see so that's those let's see i got oh wait i got more um this bonobo that bonobo was uh there's a story behind that really sad story there's a um polar um a bug i took with i took that with a 500 millimeter lens dude that's a good picture though i took it with a 500 millimeter lens i can't believe i got it i was like that's cool and then that is just cropping in that old picture and doing some editing to give me that darkness that's all i did was edit it um let's see of course no dalbra um let's see i got some uh we, we'll get over them pictures, guys. I've seen the pictures. Gorilla flipping you off. Is, I love the gorilla. The Monobos really, really talk to me. So this picture means a lot to me. Um, San Diego Zoo is actually using that picture in one of their pamphlets. So that is one of my published pictures, but they let me use it still. Um, this is just another me covering up a bad picture with black and white. Um, and we've seen that picture. Oh, just uh, pictures. Picture? Yeah, just pictures of myself. That's all. So this here is l uh, landscape photography. That's beautiful. Is that Arizona? Um, that this Utah? here was Arizona Utah border. Oh. Um, yeah. and I got off and I was walking this land and I jumped over this fence and I was cleaning up litter. I literally oh, was really? cleaning up litter. Uh, then this is in Colorado. Um. Uh, this was in Arizona, no, Utah, Nevada area in Arizona, somewhere around north of the Grand Canyon. Um, and I was showing people the burn, the fires, what happened, because this was all burned at one time. Yep. Um, 
And then this again is in the Utah, Arizona area. Um, I took that That's handheld. Picture. I was just holding my camera outside my, my car. Um, that there is in Kanab. That's Kanab, Utah. Um, that's Kanab, Utah. That there is one of the canyons on Route 70, guys. I have no clue. One of the, this isn't the Grand Canyon. It's one of the canyons in Utah somewhere. That I love that part of the country. Oh, it's amazing. Utah's amazing. Um, this is uh, Georgetown, Colorado. This, I have no clue where it's at. I wish I would have wrote down where it's at, but this is my favorite mountain that i found i took i have hundreds of this mountain from all angles this looks like utah i believe yeah it's somewhere in utah it's probably on route because 70 somewhere i saw a geologist talking about this exact mountain with with all every one of these are formed from he went into a whole detail it was on youtube actually yeah, this this is an amazing mountain it's like off one of the viewpoints you like you could stop in utah if you stop at every one, it takes you days, and we did. And I stopped at every single one, and I was taking pictures. My wife probably got tired of me. That that picture's not really good, but I was practicing with macro with my 500 millimeter. 500 millimeter. And then we were back to the normal. So let's see. I'm going to stop sharing so I don't show anything that people don't want because I got to get – Let's get <laughs> let's get uh let's get him off there. Let's go here. Oh, we got tons of pictures. Um, we got blood. Oh, Jesus, I know what this is. This is a that's the atomic stuff. So that shows the atomic. What right? That's atomic stuff. Um, ball pythons. Ball pythons. Streamyard, who are they? <laughs> so it looks like a G stripe and albino. Am I wrong? I think that's a clown. Clown? Oh, the clown? Yes. I say I suck at this. Ball pythons. Why is it let me do what I want to do? Why? Why is it doing that? I'll do it this way. Oh, there, Black Knight Het Max. No, what? What is that? <laughs> What Where the hell is a Het Max Snow? <laughs> there we go back to know your genetics. There is no such thing as Het Snow. What? What is that? What? What? This really? Oh, I bet you that's that Black Knight uh, albino stuff. It's got a paradox. Well, what's up with that paradox? Does 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 Black Knight paradox? Is that something I don't know about Black Knight? I think if Adam is still here, he can elaborate. I'm sure. Adam, what's up with that paradox? Tell me. Well, that paradox is pretty cool. Oh, that black name. What the? Oh, look at that. White and yellow. It's white and yellow. It's white and yellow. I hope I produce another nice white and yellow this year. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that gold color. Yep, I like the nice. gold color. Look at that. That's pretty decent. Everyone sends me lots of pictures. Oh, look at the little babies. <laughs> <laughs> little baby. Big baby. There's that paradox again. You guys are you guys are showing me paradox stuff. What's up with the paradox stuff? What what is that all about? Let's see what else we got. Oh, Heidi sent me some pictures. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Heidi. What what the hell? Do you guys know what that is? Wow, Fus Fuscus. That is amazing. I gotta get I gotta get some subspecies or whatever you want to you know. I gotta get. I do. Buscus. Oh, geez. That's like my favorite subspecies of leopard gecko. And the story goes is I found female after female after female. I can never find a male. And Heidi found a female or a male. And I am so excited for this. I am so excited for this. Do you have any in your collection now or does no. Heidi have it? 
Heidi has everything I know of. Um, I know there's females out there for sale, but I, I do not know another male out there at this moment. I'm not sure. I'm sure there is. That's amazing. Um, the, this just an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. There's some, uh, that's eclipsy, eclipsy. That's eclipsy, eclipsy. Some snow. Okay. Okay. Well, what the? Look at that. I know. That stripe is freaking insane. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that, that stripe is insane. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Look at that. That's perfect, too. Are you kidding me? That one's not bad. That's got two breaks in it, three breaks. Come on, that's still insane. I like how that has a little offy off there. I like that a too. Little tangy, tangy. Do, do you, am I the only one that notices some of the best clowns have that break in the band, that stripe like that? It has a stripe and it has it goes off one side. A lot of the good ones have that done. I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticed that or not. And there's some boldy bolds, some Heidi bolds. I bet you that's from the firebolt stuff. I bet you that's Skittles. I was going to say, that's beautiful, though. What's Look that? at that. What's that? I want wow. that. Give that to me, Heidi. Give your boy something. Okay, wait. I take that back. I want that one. I was going to say, I knew you were going to say that. I want She's that working one. with some amazing stuff, isn't she? She is. She's awesome. Her bold stuff is best in the country. I don't care. Seth is a close second. I love you, Seth. You're my homie. Uh, Heidi's I've got looking, you. And hers are definitely some of the smokingest ones around. Look at that. What is going on with your reverse stripes now? That reverse stripe is held pretty tight. That's insane. I mean, I know it's Eclipse, but that's insane. That, Look at that. That's a little gold. I like the gold popping through. I don't like all black. Mm -hmm. You guys keep all your all black animals. That's an amazing animal. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Too. That's them are the what are they called? Um, lavas. 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 That's pretty cool. I mean, it, it sucks for Adam that they they popped out because I think he was supposed to have pures, right? Adam, you're yeah. supposed to have pures, but I mean, that is pretty sick looking. I, I think it's amazing looking. It. Oh, oh look at that. Okay, Heidi, I said seven. I counted seven. I literally have my hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're just going to talk about that later. <laughs> hey, I want them. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. Let's see who else sent me pictures. I love this. Oh, I think that was it. Okay, Heidi and Adam. Okay. Did Josh send any pictures? I thought Josh sent any pictures. pictures. Is there I just sent you pictures of what was my tangerine from earlier, but that was it for breeding. But you know, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I, I, I'm lucky. I'm blessed enough that I get to see Heidi stuff in person, and like yeah. literally, I mean, some of her stuff just knocks me out, out of the water. I suppose uh, pictures do no justice. No, no. There's stuff that she brings. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, this is this you know average stuff. I'm just like Heidi, whatever. She hooked me up with a male. This male bites. This male's mean. It's like a, a mean eats anything I put in there. Loves the ladies. So he, <laughs> he can stay. He's actually cool looking and it's not even one for best. So I have okay, so <coughs> my bold Excuse stuff me. come from two females and one male. So this is replacing that male, but I bred my bold stuff last year to the white and yellow. So I made some white and yellow boldish stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'm going to take some siblings back to each other and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make some really cool bold stuff, but I'm, I'm excited because my bold stuff isn't related to her bold stuff. So we'll see what can happen there. Dark and pattern. I kind of agree with you. The dark plus pattern is, is for the win. I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you wholeheartedly. I like it. Um, like the ones that what's name had, that had the real yellow popping through the gold. 
Yeah. Yeah. Those. If were... you do Black Knight, I think if someone actually selectively bred bold into Black Knight, but got color to pop through, that's what I wanted to do with Clouded. Cloud has just turned out to be a Melanistic line. You guys haven't heard me talk. Is this a black damn gecko? I don't even care about it. I, I honestly want to sell it all. I don't even want it. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I know so, I have some of it, but it's not. Uh, but it you're doesn't... seeing it that that you're seeing it that clouded is coming through that tangerine that one you sent yeah. me. Yeah, you're That's seeing it come through. through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It just it is what it is. It is what it is. I sent you a picture of that. Yeah. 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 It is. <clears throat> so yeah. So you see in that tangerine that the clouded messes with it because it had blood. Um, my clouded bloods look amazing. The clouded bloods, first and second gen are amazing. Third and fourth gen are garbage. I don't even like them. Um, so my 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 goal is I'm not even gonna uh, go for cipher this year. I'm gonna breed what I said I was gonna breed and see what happens. Um, I'm going after some bold stuff. But my bold stuff, and I want to put some tangerine into my bold stuff and make some bold tangerine white and yellow stuff and that do, cool. do my little mixture stuff. Um, uh, and then next year, I got to start testing out the animals because I do know that Emmy is going to be in my mail for sure. Um, and Cypher is in my mail for sure. So I got to start producing some so i gotta take them to some pures i didn't say i was taking a pures but i am taking the stuff my cypher stuff to pures but i'm keeping all of them animals back all, all of them are getting held back um no one's gonna touch anything bred to a pure so the, i was like well why they're all gonna be 50 percent het for marble line cypher so it's a long road i have to Go talk to you about what you got, so I know what I can. Because I have Dude, to work out what I have. Oh, I have so much stuff, bro. And uh, yeah, Heidi, your I, stuff is just buying in. <laughs> yep, I want to get some. I I keep looking at Heidi's stuff, and I keep thinking I gotta get some of that. He, Heidi's animals are just. I, I her bold stuff is amazing. Her Skittle stuff's amazing. Now her reverse stripe stuff is. Her reverse stripe stuff's on another level. I, I've not seen any reverse stripes like that any anywhere else i mean reverse stripes are fading out um the way i tell people we can we can talk about that a little bit how you want to breed is you want your own you don't want to follow a leader you want to be a leader so if you guys notice once cloud has started looking i don't i know you guys probably didn't post any i i I took them to shows but once cloud has started looking like black knight i'm like eh I don't like Black Knight because it's just a black gecko. It's end result. It's an end result. So, yeah, we talked like, about that earlier. Yeah, end like result. Blizzard. Blizzard is an end result. Like you get white, you're done. And so, Later, I was Frank, thanks for stopping in, buddy. Frank, you the man. So if if you breed for clown or clownish animals. You can start messing with pattern. You can start messing and get your own look. Like day, the Bubba stuff looks a certain way, and and Josh's stuff looks a certain way, and you, you start getting people's animals. Like if someone shows me a bowl, I can tell you if it's Heidi's. That's how the how good it is. So I mean, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find find a niche that I'm known for other than Bell. I mean, my Bells sell faster than anything I can. I could, should just breed bells. That's what I should do. Josh said he sent you a picture. Yeah, I thought Josh sent me a picture, but it's not like showing off. I think. If, oh wait, yeah, he did. Why didn't it show up earlier? There it is. See, that's pretty awesome. Can I have it? That is nice. Is that is that just a, is that, is that a tremper line or is that? Uh, am I looking at um, rain? Watch it be bell head oh. red stripe cross. Really? And you're 100 percent right, folks who ask about opinions on what the pair. It won't be a pioneer. 
I, it's trial and error. I mean, do you know how many pairs I pair together? And I'm like, oh, that's going to make something cool. And it doesn't. I'm like, oh, okay. And I, I just take the animal state of genetics. Like, uh, I just, it just is. That's an amazing animal, though. I like that animal. Uh, I love the whole bad clown cross produced in 2022. She's, and that's what you got to do. I have a bad habit of selling holdbacks. I do. Like, you know, like I send you a box. I'm just like, oh, that male looks awesome. You, you got a holdback male. <laughs> <laughs> that was a male. Your One of your females was a holdback female also. Um, uh, I do have 4220. 4220 um, I actually had for sale in 2020. And she just looks so good at a show, a reptile expo. And I pulled her off the table and kept her. See, that was good. I said Trump her. Sent a picture of her. Oh, we got a picture. We got Death Interstellar. There we go. What we got? What are we looking at this? Kaboom. You said that's purple head in there? I like the clown stuff. See, where the clown stuff happens, in, in my opinion, and where why I went Riddler and not, you know... Riddler is a joke, but I'm going after green and what's Riddler. So, uh, um, Heidi and I were talking at the Reptile Expo one, one it was last one or whatever, and saying blood bolds don't hold because the black doesn't hold on the body. They turn out to be brown after a while, and he, she's right. I, that's why I'm struggling. I'm trying to inject like other tangerines into my my riddler stuff because riddler is just a bunch of mod podge stuff <laughs> like yeah and when i say mod podge stuff i'm like oh this tangerine oh this tangerine. i got m2 in there the m2 line my m2 tangerine line is no specific tangerine line it's just tangerine and i put that into riddler and uh and I can't mess too much mess with it because my most intense tangerine is my rainwater stuff, but all my riddlers are tremper line stuff. So I can't mess with, <laughs> I can't inject that really cool tangerine. So I love, I love geckos. That's why I said you got to just pick what you want and go well, with it. I got to, I have a plan in my head. I'll discuss it with you later. My idea of what I focusing in on. So yeah, you gotta hook that up, bro. You gotta. Let's see if I go to. I mean, you. I mean, I got. Let's see if I. I've showed this picture before. I think. Um, I don't even know if they got it up. I might have it up. I'm so bad at this. I'm such a bad person. <laughs> like uh, I'll show you. Like this here, is rainwater. My rainwater stuff. So. You can see the black where the black would be and the green would be and the orange would be. And that's why uh -huh. I kind of want it. This here is a male. Um, let's see. Um, I got. I should get updated pictures of this tomorrow. I'll get updated pictures of that one tomorrow. Um, that's clouded stuff. Um, boom, boom, boom. I, I thought I'd show. Like you can see the orange and the tail on this one. I know it's all like. Yeah, no. But you see, that's what I like. I like the really long, or I mean, the whole, almost a whole tail covered orange. Um, I got updated pictures of this one, too. Um, but this one's not even clouded. I wish it was. But it's not. It's not. Let's see. If I can show you some, like... Um, this guy's got some nice orange on his tail. He's got a nice carotene. Yeah. Like, what, 50%, 60%? Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I think that's same with pictures above. Um, like this is starting my. This is a riddler, but the greens are in there a little bit. It's not the best, but it's there. Um, I, I should show. Uh, there's some more. I tried to get a close up of the green, and my picture taking wasn't the best that day. Leave me alone. <laughs> I still like it though. That's really nice looking. Um, this animal's pretty good. That's a, it's okay. Um, this animal's pretty cool, but I got she's an adult now, or he's an adult. Um, the most of these are all adults now. That that's 
where I'm trying to go with it. That's nice. And that's what I'm trying to do in going with that route. Um, so I've shown all these pictures before, but carroting. Um, there's a picture of me in one of my 500 mils. Huh. Um, I don't have any pictures. I haven't been taking pictures, have I, guys? I'm sorry. <laughs> Another snake. It happens when you're busy. No time to take pictures. Yeah, but the, the show's going to be taken off. I got next week and the week after that. You got some guests you got ready to line up. Yeah, got, I just got to. I'm going to have to contact them and see what day they're open in February. And Yeah, we can actually. After. And guess what? If we have to move the show date, we have to move the show date. I don't think anyone's going to mind. I moved it to Saturday. We're getting, we're actually getting really good like listeners. Like it's a little bit better than Fridays. So maybe we move to Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I don't care what day it is because it doesn't matter to me. Sundays I'm off all day, but I'll be at the zoo all day. Well, oh, I was going to tell you, um, I got my tablet to work for the stream yard. Sweet. So I can take, I believe, don't quote me, I can use this then. This is a portable switchboard. And since my mic is not a phantom power mic anymore, because this was the mic that I was using. I got it all right here. This was my old mic. Um, it was, uh, it says uh, MXL 990. This is a powered mic. This is a condenser. Mm-hmm. Um, now this is not a powered mic, so my tablet can actually use it and I can just hook it up to this and I should be able to run a podcast from the shop. That'll be awesome. This here, mic I got, you can either do, um, USB or phantom power. So, oh, so that's a phantom. That's not a condenser. Uh, a no, dynamic? no, it, it does either or. I wonder why that is. Well, just because it has that, my my no no is... I I yeah I watch videos on it though, oh. and you can do it either way. I don't. That's weird. Maybe I I think it said that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't this, know. this is not phantom power. Uh, the phantom power. I don't know. Maybe it is. Phone died. Ha ha. Every day is Monday for me. I love that. Well, you you like the egg dealer now, brah. I have an almost all green clown and people are sleeping. People are sleeping on a lot of stuff lately because it's all black night. It's all it's got to be black night. There's not money. Well, I, I wouldn't get into black night for the money. I'd get into it to use it to go places like to change, to add stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, that's what, that's why I'm doing cypher is, I don't care about the money. I'm not even probably going to release a cipher. I probably won't. I probably won't even sell a cipher next year. And I mean, I'm only going to have what 10, 12 chances at it. I could take my, I could take my mail and just take it to 40 animals, but that's irresponsible. That's the <laughs> stupidest thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, the person I purchase it from, there is one thing I am going to do. Um, I, I'm taking that because he's at Marble Eye. I'm going to take it to that NDBE female. Well, label NDBE female because I want to test to make sure if it's Marble Eye. If it's an NDBE and it's female, I'm still not going to breed it. I'm doing it for peace of mind. I just want to know what it is. I'll, she'll never breed after this year. No. No, I I, I don't want to produce NDBEs. NDBE is a, is a faulty trait that we don't need. I mean, no. small eyes. Uh, once it starts, the health of the animal, they don't produce all this. It's time. Like super snows. I don't produce super snows. I, I do not. I did not produce super snow last year at all. Not one. No. Oh, wait. No, I did. I am sorry. I did in the Patty, the Patty group, Patty Bell group. Because my, my pair of Hep, Patty, Hep Bell are both snows. But I will not be producing them next year because I I'll be using other animals, so I won't be going snow to snow. Are you leaving us there, Texas kid? If you are, later, buddy. He's got to go va- vaccinate some baby chicks. Dude, go hook that up. You got eggs, brah. 
Chicken, chicken yeah. man, chicken, chicken. Uh, dude, I love him so much, bro. He is such he's a, cool. He's such a big, just awesome. And yeah, it went past 10. We were talking about cameras today. This was probably one of the better podcasts in a while. Yeah, yeah I agree. I liked I, it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I do better when two people's on. Yeah, but I don't produce Super Snows no more. My white and no. yellow. I, I thought about, I have a white and yellow, a really, really, really pretty white and yellow male from that bell line, from that line that I stopped producing because it has small eyes. But oh, I still yeah. have him. Yeah, I don't want to breed him. But he would breed. He eats. He does that. He's fat. But he's got really small eyes. Thank you, Emily. Oh, someone sent me pictures. Emily sent me pictures. Oh, see, I I guess so many. Oh, I guess put them pictures up. You want pictures of the babies up? I got pictures of the babies. See, there's the babies. Looks happy. So beautiful. So happy. <laughs> Look at like, this. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? What's a smile on my face. Like, like, <laughs> what's up, homie? So you look happy. It wasn't a bad year. Look at that. Right there it is. Yeah. Right there it is. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hanging in there here, y'all. I work and listen at the same time. That dude, he's counting them eggs. See, remember when you couldn't count your chickens till your eggs hatched or whatever? Dude, you don't want them eggs to hatch. You want to sell them eggs right now. (laughs) Yeah, you'll make more money. I, I saw a video the other day of a guy. He it said a, a a chicken, an egg dealer right now, and he he comes walking out of a room, all with gold on and gold rings, holding a dozen eggs, saying, "I got your stuff." I was rolling. Oh, it's so funny. She looks perfect. That's what she does. She looks perfect. Absolutely precious. Yeah, like like Texas kids said, "Hold back, hold back." Yeah, I got. I am doing another podcast. You should do a podcast yourself and re- record it in Odyssey, and I'll put it up on the Podbean, bro. That's what I'm telling you. You can do it about anything. But we got the other one going. Um, we just got to think of a time we can record it. We're not going to do them live. No, I don't think we're that's gonna fine. Live. We'll no. just get on and we'll start talking and we'll like this, right? Yeah, with, with nobody watching, and then we'll yeah, because uh, we that one there. I talked about it last time when I did the, the show by myself. Uh, don't judge us. Just have fun with it. Just have fun. Just roll with it, man. Just roll with it. People are gonna find out. And it's not gonna be. We're not gonna be mean, Dude. hateful. It's just no. Because I can't. Opinions. I don't. Just opinions. Like I think Texas kids should give me five dozen eggs a week for a tax. No. <laughs> <laughs> the mafia, the mafia now is like, oh, guess what? You owe me five dozen eggs a week. <laughs> yeah. Here's your five thousand dollars. Uh uh-uh. uh. I wanted it in eggs. <laughs> I wanted it in eggs, homie. Gotta get them eggs. Yeah, but I am I, I am upgrading. I do have different headphones. I do have those, but I just got work. these ones. And then I got mm-hmm. these using uh Yeah, I, I have like six different headphones around here. Like I have these. These are sold. Jeez. I just got these. I see. I got. I got tons of different audio headphones. I got tons of them. And then I got these. But the ones I got upstairs, like those, it just they sound so much better. Um, I love this mic. I'm buying three more. Oh, that's like I love this one too. Because I'm going to try to build myself a studio that when we do the other, may, even if this one wants to come in and do a one in the house here and for reptiles but when we do the other one i can get other people coming in and doing our podcast with us so we can do over and over and over i was thinking the same thing setting it up to where i get another mic and then i can have a we can have a guest on sitting yeah you know because i have the webcams i mean i got webcams all over this was not even on i have webcams all over they're all 1080p and 4k um the one i use now is only 1080p but it's just because it's hooked the one hooked up. That one I touched, I yeah. don't know what that was, 720. I have a 4K around here somewhere, but I don't use it because StreamYard doesn't allow 4K. 
No, not yet. I don't think so. It's probably coming. I want them to add some other features because because I uh, I'm transparent. Uh, I pay fifty dollars a month for it, um, so we can stream everywhere and we get the most recording mm-hmm. and all that. I, there's some features I wish they would do, like green rooms, um, like so people could come in and I can leave when let's say we have a a guest on, like someone calls in, and that we let them on and they talk. And then I can jump off and it'd just be a picture here on my screen and I can be in a green room with them and bring them in, bring them in. Mm-hmm. I wish they would do green rooms. Now they did a thing where we can do webinars and we can charge tickets, but I don't know who's going to pay to listen to me, you know, and you, I, I don't know. We're going to do a webinar. Pay us $5. Pay to listen to me. I would pay to listen to you. So, I mean, I, I'm That's trying just me to saying that, trying to get people to do it. Yeah, so to tell you the guys the truth, I'm trying to get it where I do at least pay for itself. Yes. Um, because now if you take Podbean and this, I pay, what is it? I think it's thirty nine ninety nine and 50 so 90 bucks a month for the two services. So that's over $1,000 a year. Is the um, podcast on Apple? Or? Yes, a podcast should be on Apple. It should be. I got it approved, but it's only the Podbean. What's on Podbean? This is not. But if you noticed, I can't use Tom's. I changed the intro because Tom's music gets flagged on Spotify and, and Facebook. And Facebook. I got notified the other day. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting hit and it's not tom tom's already said i could use the music but he's independent but he still has a production so spotify and all them make money off of them and they don't want people doing it for free so there's nothing i can do until he writes me a song that's mine that he doesn't put up on an album um and i don't know if that's happened i thought it was going to happen but i don't know uh but i have permission but i have to fight each one of them and i'm not doing that so i'm using non non stuff so um so podbean if you guys download the stuff and download the mess the 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 podcast afterwards i can get like i i use this but like someone could be advertising doritos and i can use that commercial on and we get paid so much money Fauna Radio. It's on Fauna Radio. That that's just what it is. So I can go to pod. I can go to podcast right now. Podbean. Now, uh, Blog Talk Radio. Rec Connect now too, and they have a green room. Yeah, that's the only thing I wish. Now they now Streamyard has everything else that's huge. Everything they're the most stable. Um, but I wish they would add that green room. Uh, let's see if I go to pot. Um, oh, I think it's, I got to put it before. Um, on a radio. At Podbean. Yes, I don't know. Why is but you don't like blog, blog talk radio, do you? No, because it's just uh, the way they charge. It, it'd be more money. On our radio podcast. Yeah, I haven't been on there in so long since I don't even know what they charge. Oh, here we go. So this is this is the if you go to our Fauna Radio Podbean. So it's faunaradio.podbean.com. So on here right now, I have just me talking, me talking. And here's what I was testing. This is all test. Life of a breeder, I can't put one of them up because I got to edit out Tom. I got flagged really quick on Spotify, and I forget the other one, Amazon. Flagged me quick, and it was going to like make it where I couldn't put podcasts up anymore. So I took Tom down because Tom, Tom's my homie and all, but, I mean, it is what it is. Gecko Roundtable is the roundtable for us, okay? Then I did Lep. Leopard Gecko Market, um, uh, what was all of it? I forget. Um, but Leopard Gecko Market, basically. And I did that one live. When I did that one live, that was the one I messed up on. That was my first one. I did like 45 minutes. No one could hear me. Oh, I remember that one. And then I went back and I just redid it. 
That's got 410 downloads. The other one's 17, 16, 18. And then I did another one, but I uploaded it. And it's 15 downloads. So this one here got pushed pretty hardcore. So we got to do lives on there. So we'll we're going to do live. We can do lives too. We can do lives. And so I think what we're going to do is we can start doing lives on Fauna Radio. Do it. Do it here. Um, I think we can do both. I think I can just turn it on, invite you, and it won't be any more intense on our computer. And we can just do both. Um, okay. It just might be me clicking an extra button or here and there. And it but, gets uploaded to iHeartRadio and all that too? Yeah. So we are on Google Podcasts. We're on Podbean app, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Samsung Podcast, Podchaser, and Boomplay. I guess we have not been approved for Apple yet. So I got to find out why I haven't been approved for Apple yet. It might be because I only got five episodes up. They're pretty yeah, I think strict. You have, I think you have to have seven. Yeah, they're pretty strict. But we're we're on all these other ones right now, all of them. Um, Amazon was the Amazon was the hardest one other than Apple to get on. Amazon Music was hard. Like I had to apply and get approved. Now, how will ads work on all those if we do ads or something? So we could do our own ads, and this is for anyone. Um, so. Uh, an app you recommend is called Podbean. Yes, Podbean. Podbean is the app that we, uh, that's our home. That's the, the Fauna Radio's home. Um, but if we could take our ads and we can play them ourselves. I can make up ads. I can sit there. We can record them and I can do different types of voices and whatever. My, I can get stuff done. And then we could just say, okay, it's time to pay the bills. Let's pay some bills and click the button and do some commercials. Or we can, once we get the listener base on Podbean, um, we can apply for ad revenue market and people bid for our show. So let's say we have someone that wants to advertise Doritos and someone that wants to do Cheetos. And the Cheetos like, we're going to give you five cents a download. And Doritos like, no, we're going to give them seven cents a download. We just go with the biggest one. And that's what we do. Um so it's a way to monetize without the reptile community monetizing us. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, but uh, like all our sponsors so far, guys, I have not taken a nickel for any sponsor. Um, I, I just, I just haven't taken a, uh, I do have something for reptiles to you. That's going to be special. Um, we're working on that. Uh, but other than that, I haven't taken a nickel <laughs> for sponsorship. Okay. For like to get your get your name on my the banners, uh, we got reptilepage.com, which is a new site. Scaled up expos, which is Dylan. Uh, Faun, I, I can't say that Dylan does take care of me. So Dylan, yeah, you my homie. Um, FaunaRadio.com is us. Reptipost.com, which I need people to start going to Reptipost.com and USArc.org. If you're not a USArc member and you're listening to this, click go over to USArc.org and just join. Five bucks. Yep. Less than less than a coffee a month. Just give me five bucks for US Arc. Don't give me five bucks. Go give US Arc five bucks a month. It's five dollars a month. Don't donate money to them. Join them. Yeah, that's more <laughs> important. Numbers of people. Not that they can't use the money, but exactly. And uh, so, uh, I, I'm trying to get on Podbean. I'm trying to get it and get it up there and get stuff done. I am working on, since we're going podcasting, I've been really studying podcasting, and I'm going to take snippets from our this show here of us talking, like of a subject. So if I say something like, okay, guys, the, the eclipse is the stupidest gene in the world, and then you say something, I say something, but then before we get to the Big Bang, it stops, and you got to click the link to go listen to the podcast. Oh, you know, oh, I'm going to take them snippets out and do that and put it up on TikTok and put it up on everywhere and say, you know, Brando, I love that movie, dude. I love, I love. He's uh, got electrolytes. <laughs> I love that movie. I don't care what anyone says. That movie, Hackercy, is great. It's like, it's like the time machine. You actually thought you could go back. And it's just a roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go watch that now. But yeah, so 
I'm trying to monetize this the best. I'm not going to get rich. We're not going to get rich on this. This no. is not going to happen. I mean, uh, the other idea we have, the other podcast, I think we're going to make we're, we that there we're doing four views for listeners. And I think we can make some money on that one. I don't think we're going to get rich, but we're going to no, yeah, the Repti post app. Um, I am trying. Whoops. I am trying to get the app. Uh, the website does adjust to your phone, though. So it knows if you're on a tablet, knows if you're on a phone, or knows mm-hmm. if you're on a computer. So it will adjust its look. I And you can just save the the home screen to your home screen, the site to your home screen. That's what I do. The app is going to cost me a little bit of money. I am working on it. But I have to I have to have two apps. I have the one one for iOS and one for Android. Working on that. That's why I go on it with my kid. Yeah, I mean Reptipost is getting there. Um what kind of water to give? What kind of water to give? So I mean it's getting there. Oh look at we got we already have uh, we got spam look at guys we got spam already on there isn't that lovely (laughs) that's how you know you made it already yeah we made it let me see can i delete this oh yeah we can delete that thank you for checking in again buddy yeah you my homie uh boom so now (laughs) now we're we're free of that so this here, the key to selling, this is the, the order radio, what I'm going to be doing for on the podcast. I'm going to be uploading on the 6th. I've already recorded it. I've already recorded it. <laughs> so the key to selling, telling how to people how to do, you know, I get asked that a lot. Like, oh, geckos are hard to sell. Well, I sell them. I don't know about you guys. I sell geckos just fine. I actually probably use more geckos right now. You guys got some geckos. So no, I'm playing. I'm in the best with that. <laughs> My homie. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. <clears throat> so what's really bad is I have it set up where it's – that's my first spam account. It can't be a robot. It had to be a person that did that. That's so, why he said oh, he wanted to, to contact her to send yeah. her a message, man. So mm. – Yep, the the what's really cool is the market is free, guys. Just to let you guys know. If you guys get this market going, like guys, that's already that's that's gone. I'm sorry, that's gone. I should delete that. But the market is free. You guys can go on here and sell all you want. Um, I got categories uh for everything. Why is it doing that? I'm gonna have to fix that. See, see it's doing that. I, I'm gonna fix yep. that. But it's got categories. Um, it's got groups, so you can go into groups. Uh, it's basically got everything that Facebook does and then some. Um, it does people you may know, too. I did that. Um, online users, just me. Invite your friends by email. Um, it's got the latest activity. Um, of course, it's got where you can post YouTube videos. Um, what else? It does blogs. You guys want to do a blog, and you guys just don't want to pay for a blog? Go to Repti Post and go. post your blog. Post it and share <laughs> yeah, it. There it is. Funny. What's that? <laughs> oh, still... geez. 20 pages of 1995. Order now. <laughs> get two geckos. That's the secret. That is the secret. Buy two, get some free. <laughs> yeah, but the reason I did that, the the market was uh, people are saying it was hard to sell geckos. I'm like, oh, well, I'm selling geckos just fine. <laughs> Josh, buy a good deal he's running now. You buy one at full price and get the other one at full price also. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what we need. Oh, 100%. I mean, come on, guys. We got to sell some geckos. I Now, I am known. Heidi will probably tell you this because she events with me. I give away geckos. I gave one away at the last show. I had a kid come up, no joke, had a gecko. was biting him. Bit him all the time. Didn't buy it from me. I have no clue where he bought it. They brought it to me to tame down in front of them. I pick it up. doesn't bite me. So I have no clue what the kid's doing. Kid wouldn't take it back. I'm like, it doesn't bite. He goes, I don't want it. They were going to buy a gecko off me. Like, literally buy one. They were getting their money out. And I'm just like, this gecko's fine. Here, He held it. Just take it. I don't care. And I took their gecko. 
And now it's just that, that gecko is just going to sit in a tank in my zoo. <laughs> I don't know what to well, do with it. I don't know. Is this take a super... it back. Take it back to another show and give it away. I'll probably end up doing that. That's probably what's going to happen. So I do give away geckos. I'm known for it. And then, then what was really funny is like 20 minutes after that, I had a person come up, a little girl, <laughs> come up, and they pointed. At, she pointed at a gecko. Look back at her mom and go, Mother, may I have this gecko? The mom looked at her daughter and goes, Yes, you may, and bought it. I was like, Yeah, there you go. I was like, All right. So, Rambo style. Rambo. Yeah. Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> this is Rambo. Head of the game and breed a trio. Let's watch this. Oh, jeez. Uh, d- dude, I don't even sell on Morph Market. I was going to, but they charged me all that money to sell geckos against people selling geckos for a dollar. I ain't doing that. I mean, look at Morph Market. Morph Market's such a freaking. Before we go, we'll look at Morph Market real quick. Let's see. Am I logged in? Gosh dang it. Oh, good. I'm not. Let's go here. Morph Market. Um, boom. Leopard geckos. Leopard geckos. So there is how many listings of leopard geckos going on right now? Um, where's it at? 2,800 leopard geckos. That's not like the 30. 30- no, this is, this is insane. So I don't see anything that blows me away. Lake Erie leopard geckos. Bold and bright. I know bold and bright. I don't see nothing that just blows me away. Oh, gosh. BHB. Oh, God. I have them blocked on mine because I can't look at all their stuff, man. I do, too, but I'm not logged in. Oh. I'm not logged in. Like this. That's actually a cool-looking gecko. And this shows yeah. that, that little that little feather tail that comes off. Yep. See? Is it worth 450 Well, oh, could be. This is a good gecko, but I never heard of NV. I mean, they need to learn how to take pictures. Oh, that's better. I mean, that's a cool looking gecko. Uh, it's probably like twelve that's grams. It's still there. small, and it's going to change a lot as yeah as it grows. Let's see what how big they say it is. Um, they don't say how big it is. Um, but white and yellow tangerine bell pos max no. Oh, why don't you know if it's never mind. <sighs> See, I just get disappointed when I come here. Las Vegas patternless albino. Las Vegas. So, was that an albino? That wasn't even an albino, was it? Didn't look albino. Oh. I'm so confused. This is why I don't go. What's on Morph Market is good. I mean, that's that's overexposed. It's a nice looking gecko, though. See, now I'm judging people. I should not judge people. It's bad. It's really bad. This is where Adam wants to buy. Is Adam still here? Adam's still here. I get depressed seeing brown geckos. Me too. That, that NDBE. So, anyways, I think we're good. I think everyone yeah. rocked it out. We were, we just rocked it out. A lot of people who sell on Morph Market don't know what they're selling. And label them wrong. <laughs> She's so right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh jeez. My two hundred expensive uh, two hundred fifty dollar gecko is not expensive. I told them it's no. <laughs> I, I mean, a raining tornado from the urban reptile for eight seventy five. Eh, I don't know, but two hundred fifty dollars for a breeding gecko is not expensive. Three hundred fifty for something that's going to fit my project? No, but I'm not going to buy. You should have told them you'll make them a deal. You'll do two payments or three payments of one twenty five. Three payments of one twenty five. I'd have told said. them to give me all their money in their pocket. <laughs> I need to shave. Yeah. But all right, guys, you guys, else, else you want to add today? 
No, it's just going to be look for our next podcast that we're going to do. Uh, and this is going to be, a, you know, next week will be a fun show. So, Oh, yeah, it's going to be a really fun show. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to be a good one. And we're going to be, I got some good topics come up. And if you do, just shoot me topics. We'll do it. A uh, guy came to my, oh, we got to see this guy came to my table to find a female for a male that he just got from another vendor. He pulls it out and it, it was a killer bold bell tang, $80 price tag on a $200 gecko easy. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Huh. That's bad. You are awesome, Emily. We love you too. So, all right, guys, I guess we outie outie. Peace, everybody. We out.